Hello. We're live. We're live. Hi. <laughs> Junkyard. Hello. 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 Hold on. I'm, I was so on my computer. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Do you want me to take us off <laughs> air? Uh, no. Okay. I will just go ahead and I'm going to keep doing it though. And I'm going to. Oh, wait. Wait. Are we starting? Yes, we're, we're live. We have started. Junkyard, you're going to be. Uh, Junkyard's going to be our MC for tonight. Every week we're going to switch it up. To get a different persona going in an effort to yeah. diversify the podcast. Huh. All right. So uh, with that said, hey everybody, it's Junkyard here and Chronocast. We have tonight. We have eat my diction, Jen, Hi. the Canadian. Hello. And our buddy and yours, the one, the only, the legend, the mystical, Chilled Chaos. A mystical? So I'm like an elf. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just because you're Italian. Out. Hey, yeah. Italians are not mystical. They are great beings. Is are Italians mystical? No, I think they're like no, no, they're not. Oh, no, Is that they, where centaurs no. came from? No, that's we didn't mystical. fuck centaurs. We didn't fuck horses. God. What the hell is a centaur? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's half right. Horse, that's half yeah. We didn't do that. <laughs> no, that's Greek. I think that's Greek. That's Greek. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Greek. That's... Yeah. But and if we are, then we have the lower part of the horse. If anything. Yes. 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 That's, that's good. We so, don't know where Utoric went. That's we, we, we lost know. you, Torek. He's lost in Canada. He's probably humping a Mountie or something. I don't know. Oh, is he in Canada? That's right. Yep. He went. He was going on vacation. <laughs> so he's in Canada. He's in. Uh, he's in North America, theoretically. Yeah. Yes. Currently, yeah. he's within Somewhere our time zones. In our time zone, in this uh, area, Jan yeah. can literally spit, and it will hit him. Um, yeah, he actually tweeted, he tweeted out today that he was at a mall and he said, come find me, but not really. And I said, you're at Chinook, aren't you? And he said, shush. So <laughs> I knew exactly where he was. <laughs> now, how far is that, though, from you? Uh, like two and a half hours. Really? That's not far at all. Yep. You could legitimately nope. drive up and touch him. Actually, I think it's less than two and a half, but That's if you I don't, up there and there. Tuck down I don't have a vehicle. Oh, actually, a, a grain house... A Greyhound bus uh, from where I live to where he lives, it's only like 50 bucks. That's but like a sore dick. You can't beat it. That, that's your number one comeback for everything, Just <laughs> <laughs> And that's still not plausible. That's a bad thing coming from him. So, it can happen. That's true. Oh. So, anyway. So, um, all right. Well, that's a sort of a bummer that he's not uh, available. But I guess it is what it is. Well, you know what? He'll wake his ass up. Uh, yeah. And Rager's playing hooky, and uh, unfortunately, Lizzie is going to be busy at nights, uh, so she probably will not be joining us from now on. Yeah, she yeah due to the fact that her, her time when we do chronocaps, Lizzie's usually asleep, so she's been staying up a lot, well, indefinitely for the last times we've been doing this. So the end, end result is she's sleep is very important. It is. Otherwise, she may dye her hair a color she may regret. Right. Yeah, what if she, she got her up hair waking up and asleep? dying it a different color? <laughs> Can't you like you're supposed to because you're supposed to wash out the uh, not the the, the like the, uh, the what do you put on first? It's the bleach, yeah. right? If you leave that in, that's like bad, right? Yeah, it's no, cool. I, it's it's bleach? if you dye your hair blonde, then it has bleach in it. But um, uh, yeah, like the coloring stuff. If you leave it in more than like twenty to thirty minutes, and they say recommended, then um, possibly it could start burning, and your hair could fall. Oh, what? So. Well, isn't it? Yeah. It's pro. Isn't it peroxide? I thought it was peroxide that you dyed your hair with. You, you or something no, like that. No, peroxide isn't peroxide the stuff that you clean wounds with. It gets all oh, like yeah. Yeah. and bubbly and stuff. Yeah, you clean wounds with it. It seems really yeah. dangerous. Yeah. I didn't think it would be this. <laughs> I thought I like, dyed my hair like twice in my life, and it was kind. Of, it was a process. Not gonna lie, it was a. It was a deep. I have. I have. Process. I've dyed my beard. Chuck, because you have no hair to dye. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's true. God. It's so sad. You ever thought about like but shaving it... the beard and like putting it on top of the head? So, but I no. <laughs> no. I, I've I've actually gone to the fact of should I go ahead and you know put the pubes up there, but they'd be too curly. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, oh, she left the beard. What a bad time to join. <laughs> what oh. you call that? Join into. Oh. <laughs> oh God. What are you doing, but, Rick? But anyway, ow! Would you quit hitting me? Oh, not this! No, John, no! 
Lock your door, Junk, for, for the I good of the show. I need a lock on the door. I need, like, one of those red lights. You know, I can flick it on so nobody comes downstairs. Well, when, you used to like have that a... episode of Full House, and then they and then they get locked down there, and they spend the entire episode arguing, and then they realize they didn't turn off the light, so no one knew that they were ready to come up. Right, there you go. Best episode of Full House ever. Uh, there you Next go. to the one where Michelle loses her memory when she falls off a horse. I remember that like, one. It was like right after, it was like right around the same time that Christopher Reeves got paralyzed from falling off a horse. I remember that distinctly. That's really a weird coincidence. I'm old. I'm. You think Junk's old, man. You're like old. Uh, I'm old. Like right, well, I, I got to mute you because my wife's standing here wanting my undivided attention. So give me a sec. Okay, we'll talk about nerdy things. I assume we're live. Yes. You know? No. Okay, yeah. yeah, I had to go out and, like, help my dad with the lawn. But now i got to go find my mic, so we're going to walk through my house. So if you hear loud noises, I apologize. We're going on an adventure, an audio adventure. Yeah, we are going on an adventure. Wait, you're bringing the, the laptop with you? Uh, yeah, i got to find the mic. What if you run into, like, bears and shit up there? Yeah, yeah there's no cats here. There's nothing bad's going to happen. Yes, but what if the cat turns into a bear? The cat won't turn into there's a bear. This is happening in this life. There are, there are... The, the bins have yeah. bear protectors on, Jan. Okay. <laughs> really? Well, you yeah, guys yeah, are yeah. close to the mountains, but you're not that close. You're close, but not that close. Podcast. Oh. Say hi, Mom. Say hi. hi, people. Just say hi. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you all? Your that mother sounds just like you. Good. She doesn't sound anything like she, you. That's you like sound a, just like a female Eutoric. Female. <laughs> female <laughs> Oh. Except she probably doesn't talk about dicks all the time and post pictures of it. No, she really scene. doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> She's probably a lovely woman. <laughs> she is a lovely woman. Someone said she sounds Australian. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How, how, Australian? How's Ooh. the cooking? How's the cooking? She's cooking right now. Is it good? <laughs> it's good. Ooh. Is she making bangers and mash? No, we're having a steak, actually. I'm going to have it fried on the barbecue outside. Yeah, American <laughs> style. Yeah, there's a very high fourth up there, apparently. Again, well, actually, wait, you love American style, grooving up the red, white, and blue. Did you take care of the woman junk? Yeah, they're out of here. They're out of here. They're gone. They're history. You totally got some beautiful. woman in his house right she's now, junk. Me some, uh, hey, everybody, uh, how's it going? I'm, she's making sense of chili for him. <laughs> Hello, she mother. Hey, mom, you're embarrassing me. God. Is that your mom? Yeah, that's, that was that's, my mom. That's mother Utoric. Yeah. Hey, hey so Junk, you're married. Like, you're married, she's Junk. She's <laughs> you're married! And she's not single either. Yes. Well, I was just saying hello. <laughs> Mom, Junk. <laughs> I was just saying hello! <laughs> hey, Torx, Mom. Uh, <sighs> she's gone. Moment's gone. Alright, you can make your move now, Junk. Did she die? No, she's going back to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she has, she's cooking dinner. Oh, hey, God. so... So we heard you're like only two hours away from Jan. Yeah, pretty much. So mm -hmm. Get on a bus. I can't, what do you mean, get on a bus? Get on a bus. Calgary's Calgary's so sketchy. Come on, a million people. A million uh, friendly faces. A, yeah. million. a million people. <laughs> I don't know what there. Would you say that about New York City? No, because there'd be on. eight million friendly faces, silly. God. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh God, no! It's a scary place, man. Anything like New York? Yeah, when you know. I don't know. It depends where you are, but anything like after eight o'clock, it gets kind of shady, no matter where you are. But yeah, that's just you don't, you, it's, it's tough. You, it's, well, it's a lot cleaner though than it used to oh, be. Oh yeah, ever since Giuliani. I mean, yeah, Giuliani, he cleaned it up. I mean, I think that he did a lot of like, um, you know, under the table type, uh, just get it cleaned up. Well, I, well his incentive was we want a, a cop almost on every corner. That was his main. Thing. Which, hey, I guess it worked. But still, I don't, I don't yes, know. Sir. I don't like being in the cities past 8 o'clock. Weird stuff happens. Unless you go in specifically for that idea. But if you're just wandering around, you're going right. to get shot. Right, 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 right. Twice. So it's I've seen good. American Psycho. I know that no place is safe, not even Manhattan. I've seen Spider Man. Ben Parker got shot. Uh, twice. Well, the new one. I didn't see that one yet. That it's comes out, out tomorrow. Are you, you going to go see it? Oh yeah, uh, Smarty said it was really good because he had the advanced screening. He really liked it. How did he go see it early? Uh, because he works in the movie theater. Yeah, but uh, he also willingly saw Battleship. That's true. So... But it was an advanced was screening that, as well. How was Battleship? Uh, I can only imagine 
the worst movie of the year so far. They didn't even say we sink your battleship or I sunk your battleship. I know. Well, which is like they the never same said problem. that they were supposed to say that. They well, what are they <laughs> gonna say? You sunk our battleship, aliens that were added into the film for no reason. I know they saw it. And I kind of like dropped dead when I walked into <laughs> GameStop because I didn't see it and I didn't think they were advertising it. Battleship the game, the video game. Was, yeah, they, was, yeah, they made a video game. I'm just like, but, but they already have a battleship. The game it has like little token thingies and like sticks and pegs. And then I go <laughs> and see this. It's it's even better when you do it with uh, drinking. You take a shot every time you get a hit. That's I I would never be drunk. Then. Yeah, there's quite a few new games, uh, <laughs> new new games like that of watching TV shows and things like that. When they say stuff, I was um I was selling furniture yesterday like I always do, and and uh, there was a guy a realtor in there. And he was saying that he was on that show House Hunters, House Hunters. that's going to be coming out. And he, he was telling me, yeah, what you want to do is like go on House Hunters and type in Google House Hunters in the letter D, and it shows all the different drinking games for that show. So it gets to the point of when does a show to become a cult following that <laughs> is actually a drinking game that could be, you know, and that's a good question. Well, how many shows are there? I mean, there's a ton of them, but... What do they say? You mean in the world? <laughs> in the history of televised well, you, entertainment? You know, because, well, you know, my videos for a long time was a, the, I found out that was a drinking game. Every time I said needless, just needless, when I, because my very you first. You say that, uh, like, way too much. Wait, oh, can I, I just ask, how, what's, what's the, the mean, like, the medium age of your viewers? Because, like, at, like, 13, like, 13, 14 year olds right. and stuff, like, drinking. Like, oh, he yeah. said me this. this <laughs> I know, he's got a figure. Some Kool Aid or something. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I was like, I got Go Gurt, guys. Oh! <laughs> oh! Root beer? I was let's told. Go ahead and, let's, let's do a shot of Go Gurt. I know. I was told every time I say American that if a kitten dies and the people drink. And then, well, we all know how that I don't worked e out. I don't even want to know what people do when I say bear. It's oh, shit. Probably yeah. just Tequila. I probably caused so much alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yeah, right? Or so much fapping, as Yutorik was saying. <laughs> you take one stroke every time he says bears. That's not going to be good. <laughs> you have to try and finish There's by the end of a video. <laughs> 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 and every time he says bears, that's just a single stroke. So you have to give it your all. <laughs> <laughs> bears, bear, 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 bear. No, go. Chuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, his mother just walked in, Junk. Don't do that. Oh. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Drink stuff. Oh. Right, calm uh, down. Okay, so what, I, I never put a video up, so I got to do a video real quick. So I got to record this real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, thing. hold on. That's not good. That's not what I was going to do. Junk, you're the horrible MC. We, I know. We, All right, so we what are we doing? First... What did you do this week? <laughs> All right, let's start with that. Um, chilled, what did you do this week? Besides sleeping, I, I, I accomplished nothing. Oh, I... Uh, no, no, that was two weeks ago. Uh, I bought a 3DS. <gasps> yeah. I you didn't you opt, wait, you didn't opt in for the, the, the extra large no, 3DS? No, no, see, my, my, my theory is, and let me explain my theory. Some ladies don't appreciate the 3DS or just gaming in general. And what if I'm on the go, right, and I spot, like, the right lady. Like, I, I make eye contact with her. But it's like I'm, I'm hiding my DS at this point. And I spot her. And I can just tell that she's like, no, this person plays video games. I'm not sucking their dick tonight. So if I had the 3DS XL, I could not hide that in my pocket. With the 3DS, I can conveniently hide that in my pocket. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> what's a 3DS? And I figure the other one's too large. This one's perfectly small. And I can, uh, you know, just, just hide it. And, uh, you know, and if she does happen to like it by chance, boom, I just whip it out. No problem. It's really My counter <laughs> argument is why would you ever want to be with a girl who doesn't like the fact that you play one night games? stand? That's so good. that's that's my counter that's argument good. to your counter argument towards my. You can you can have you, playing though. Are you so? You, well, know, you might that's have just sloppy that. sex and then finish it off with a little one v one cod pro mod. <laughs> we can <laughs> finish it off by just watching a movie too, man. I don't have to game every night, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Anyway, that that's, that's true. that is. It's it's really cool. Um, I didn't realize the thing took 3D pictures and 3D videos, and that's actually mm -hmm. really cool too. But the coolest thing I'd say is the augmented reality, where you put like one of those like weird cards down, and then it pops a monster out. It pretty much um, it rotoscopes like something onto your desk, and you follow, you could literally just go anywhere in your room, and like it will change the position of it. You can go around it, turn it upside down, shoot it, and it blew my mind. It was the first little like technology innovation in a while that blew my mind. Besides the Google glasses, um, that it was like wow. 
Well, and now is this is this expensive. the next generation or is this last year's model? This was last year's model. I finally got yeah. around to getting one because I won uh, the Kingdom and Hearts game. Wow, and it had all that. I didn't I even know. realize. Gonna, I'm probably gonna buy one next paycheck, so I have something to do when I'm flying to PAX and stuff. That's what I figured. Just on I'm, the go. You know what's funny? The pink ones are cheaper on Amazon. And I have no shame, so I will get a pink. No, yet. have some shame. I even feel bad about have it. Have some no. shame. Come on. <laughs> Someone sees me with that, they're gonna be like, "That's a cool 3DS you got." There. No, so, no, no. You're gonna have like double the problems I'm gonna have. Unless, no. Unless the chick. What? Wants I don't care if they th if they already have a problem with me gaming. I don't think I'm gonna care if they think I'm gay. One night stand. What? what? I'm already I'm already I'm already cut off from the pussy right there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you cut yourself off yeah. twice. That's not nice. good point. Good point. If anything, I I've found that girls find dudes who are um, you know, secure in their sexuality and enjoy pink frilly things, they find them more attractive. I don't know, man. Or they friend zone them faster. Ex one or the other. And then you get to see them naked quicker. True. That's true. Because then I'd be like, hey, just like this bra look good, and you get to see them take off the bra. You potentially <laughs> can't like to see like a nipple. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I gotta wear my pink shirt more often. It's a pink button down. I, I gotta be like, yeah, I'm in touch with my feminine side. Either friend zone me now or let's do it. You know, so I, gotta, I like it. I, gotta I like it. it. Maybe that I, works I like with other pros and with. stuff. But you're married, man. But for me, I don't know. Like, yeah. guys wearing pink things. It's I don't know. It's not. Well, now pink. Like, now shirt. we never. In my days, though, in my days, pink was actually uh, you know the polo shirt. Pink yeah, polo pink shirt polo. was. Remember that? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Back in the that. 70s, yeah, yeah, I was 13. Good now. Yeah, well, no, it was actually more the 80s. It was Miami Vice time. Oh, well. I love those Miami Vice times. So, and that was, and you, and you had it, you know, you put, you flipped up the collar. I never did that because I was uh, the guy that always wore the army jacket. So, you know, so I, I, I didn't do it. So, but nonetheless, anyway. So, but that, that's where that I was me this week, and uh, it was just uh, pretty much. A relaxing week. Very cool. Uh, Jan the Canadian. Um, I had a very interesting week. I've been home. This is the longest I've been home all week. Um, pretty much, it started out, I had like something wrong with my eye where it felt like my eye was being crushed. And then go to the eye doctor. Apparently, it's fine. It sounded like glaucoma. But I'm good now. But there's that. And then... Uh, what else? So, you, uh, I so went your, to eye, your eye's still in your eye socket then? It hasn't fallen out? Yes. Right, well, cool. I don't know. My doctor said it was fine, but he said if my eye gets all, like, red and it really sore again, I have to immediately go see him. But uh, apparently it's fine. So um, there's that. And then I went to a concert. I don't know if anyone knows who Gob is, but Finger Eleven was there too. And uh, my friend... Gob. Not a female to male fly show, but, That's what Wikipedia but a band. Said. Okay. Hey, Wikipedia is wrong. But actually, funny story about that. I was actually going to go talk to the band and ask them, you know, is that how they name their band? But never got a chance to. Um, my friend surprised me with backstage passes and got to meet Finger Eleven. So Finger Eleven's up there first and shake all their hands and get all their autographs and stuff like that. I see Gob in the back corner and they'll just kind of like looking at the ground and probably thought that no one would recognize them and get like an autograph from them and I walk up to them and I'm just like yeah I'm here for you guys not for 11 I won't care about them and stuff like that it was really cool then I got my picture taken with them I actually got their autograph twice and you're only allowed one free admission to go meet the bands and stuff but I went in there twice and first I got posters signed and then I got a t-shirt signed by them and then I got pictures taken with them and it was really cool did you ask her about it was like my first now? time I didn't get a chance because um they weren't letting people back there at the end of the show but very cool um that was like the first time i ever met anyone like famous like a musician so hey, hey and torque has yeah. a degree and he's semi famous <laughs> yeah I but mean, i never has, got to meet him yet so. has any <laughs> of you guys no, ever I've, met any i'm sorry has anybody else ever met any music musicians that they followed like that and got their pictures with or anything like that mm -hmm. i know it's different for a girl scenario I mean, but at the same time, anybody yeah. eat my addiction? No. Cool. no. No. See, I've, I've, see I, I got, I have um, uh, Eddie Van Halen. I met him, and uh, he actually played the guitar in my house, which was actually pretty cool. And then um, Sarah Bareilles, I met her, and she was, uh, she, I got her autograph and all that stuff. So that was pretty cool too. And they're neat. It's a neat, it's a neat thing when you meet an artist of of music you've heard, you have heard for a while and enjoy it. And then uh, yeah. when you get 
when you get to that point where you get backstage passes, do you guys go out, hang out in the green room or anything? Um, yeah, it was just it was like a bar. Their green room was a bar. Like um, oh. in the club, there's like I don't know. There's two different bars, and then you go between uh, behind these doors, and there's like it's another bar, and it's like a like an oval shape, and it has like chairs and a thing in the middle. But um, yeah, I think I kind of understand fangirls a little bit more better than I used to because all the time I'm like, well, why did some people freak out so much? I don't get it, but I kind of get it now because it was really exciting. Like, <laughs> still, I have like this big smile on my face. I'm like so excited still <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and then what else did I do? Um, I don't know. Made some new friends, and apparently I might be getting like an actual PC, so they're gonna give it to me, which is pretty cool. PCs. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna get that. I'm, like, I'm gonna get it on like Wednesday or something. Sorry, what? I don't know how good it is, or I I didn't understand you. It's well, a speech impediment. I'm sorry. All right, never mind. Carry on. <laughs> carry on, <laughs> ladies. Carry on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is that it? Anything? Yeah. That was cool. Uh, good week. Fun week. Fun that's week. pretty much it. Fun yeah. week. Uh, Utoric, what the hell are you doing? I flew to Canada. Flew okay, to good. Canada. Next. <laughs> what are you doing in Canada? I'm seeing, I'm visiting, like, my parents and seeing my brother for the next two and a bit weeks. Um, and we're doing stuff, like, Outdoor activities and such and Now, stuff. did your parents live in Canada? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So you live in the UK, but they used to live in the UK, but they left you there and moved to Canada? Pretty much. Oh. Just ditched them. Right Are there. you that much of a troubled child? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so they went to another continent to get away. I like it. I like it. It's good. Do -do. Hmm. What, Do -do. Any, any outdoor activities are you planning? Any fishing? Uh, no, not fishing, like bikes, uh, bike rides, and like hiking, like walks and stuff, runs. What's the temperature up there? It's like 24 now, I think. In it, what's it in Celsius. the hell is that? What's it in the yeah. Celsius. Celsius. I don't know, that's like 110. Um, 110? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. I'll talk. But it's 24 no, it's Celsius. No, it's not. It's not 110. Here, hold on. Give me, give me a second. 24 degrees Celsius looks like it's 70 I'm loading probably. up weather I have no idea what it is so but, uh, can we get a converter I'm looking it up give me a second I know. <laughs> can we get that converter to American sure. please <laughs> yeah I was like what the heck everybody in the America. world does metric exists 75 uh, 70, degrees well for for me it's only yeah 75 so for me it's only 22 out wow that's, that's nice like temperature 78. that's good oh Jesus bye kid I heard All that <laughs> She's going to the movies with her friends, so she will not be around the house. She left. So, um, uh, eat my diction. Are you, are you done, you Torque? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. All right. What are you doing? Um, I don't know. I didn't. Really, I streamed a lot this week. That was pretty much it. You uh, you did spec off the line, which because of your review, I decided to buy it. Yes, yes, I did. I, I streamed the entire game on Saturday. And it was really short. It was like four and a half hours. But I played on super easy mode because I'm bad at video games. And I want to get through them as quick as possible so I don't sit there for ten hours straight, you know? No, that's, that definitely makes sense. I, I hear it's still a semi-short campaign, like you were saying. Yeah, it's it's short. Gameplay, ho-hum, pretty, pretty standard shooter. But the storyline is pretty damn good. And it's got some, some heavy scenes. Sometimes it's a little overly heavy like they make it more brutal than it really needs to be just because they're trying to prove a point you know but it's still good cool Very i like cool. how it went half off on amazon within a week of its release because <laughs> literally i was telling you remember how you know i was talking to you someone else i'm like oh man i gotta get off green man gaming it's it's 10 bucks off and then like it fell through and i ended up getting it and then like four days later it's 50 percent off i'm like oh uh, oh okay i guess that's cool it happens, man. It happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still, I'm still started... waiting for the Steam sales. Steam sales. I know, right? I'm, I think yeah, it's they haven't come tomorrow. up yet. No. I think it might be tomorrow. My God. Mm -hmm. Are they Tuesday. coming tomorrow? It's possible, yes. Well, they're Mexico today. Yeah, you so were going to no tweet idea. it out. I mean, uh, Chill, you're going to tweet it out. So as soon as I <laughs> Everyone's going to tweet it out. <laughs> so. as long, as long, I'm just waiting to watch the tweet. So. Yeah, um, I, thought it, I thought it was supposed to be on Saturday. Someone's like 11 a.m. on Saturday. And I'm like, okay. I'm at work, so that sucks. 
Well, but then it wasn't. So. They honestly, I'm <laughs> glad Valve, uh, not Valve, Amazon jumped on it first. Maybe they'll net Amazon some more sales and they'll give us some more digital exclusives. Um, because come on, Steam, we want it. We want it. Mm, exactly. Yeah. But uh, oh. good, good. Streaming good, good, all good. week, I like that. Mm-hmm. All day, early so, day. So is that it? Anything else? You didn't go anywhere? You um, didn't leave the house? No, I've, I've been going to the gym and stuff. Uh, I went out and saw some f- old friends. I reconnected with some people, which is pretty cool. Had some cool. drinks. I started my first solo Let's Play on my channel. I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, which one did you do? I didn't see that. Postal 2. Oh, yeah. You, I need to watch it. It's, actually, it's not even a good game, about. but it's so entertaining because you can just... Oh, really? It's like Pee it's so uh, it's so offensive in every way, but it's perfect for me apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what is it? Did you say it's a first person shooter? First person kind of shooter. It's you run around, you can pee on people, hit their heads off with shovels, light them on uh-huh. fire and stuff. It's really <laughs> really politically incorrect. Like they go really far with like the political incorrectness to the point where it's almost almost not funny. But it's still it's worth playing because the game's like eight. You can get like that and all the DLC for like eight bucks off their website. So it's pretty. It's a good deal if you're into that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I'll not bad. To, uh, I have to uh, take a look yeah. at. What do you think I, about I doing Postal videos. Three after? Um, yeah, someone gifted that to me. I played through like the beginning of it, and it looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot more linear. So I'm not sure if it'll be as entertaining. So but I'll, I'll give people. it a whirl. No, you can still pee on people, but oh, it's good, like good. it's it's more scripted. Oh. Whereas the, the 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 second game, it's split up into days, and every day you have tasks like, oh, I got to go get milk, or oh, I got to go pay my check. You know, um, you can run around and do all that in whatever order you want to do, and and cause as much anarchy as you want in the process. So hmm. the Very the third cool. game looks like it's more scripted and kind of steering you in a direction, which I don't really like. God damn it. They need more sandbox. More sandbox, they, less foo You know, there's, um, I remember reading an article about a, uh, zombie sandbox that I can't remember where it was, but like, you have to, def- it's pretty much like DayZ, actually. Project I Zomboid? About it. I can't remember what it is, but like, I don't know the name, but like, you're based in like a city, and I think it's multiplayer, and it's sandbox, and you have to defend yourself, build, like, it's like Minecraft, like, as well, like, I'm not sure if it's a blocky element, but you have to like build like a a, a sort of a structure or like a, a stronghold or whatever, and then but you have to survive and you have to go out and stuff, and you can like go out and look for cool things. It's, it sounds thinking about now. This was like I read this about probably about six months ago, like towards Christmas. Um, but thinking about it now, it's a lot like DayZ is, just without the building element. But um, so it's kind of like irrelevant now. Right. Yeah. Way to make yourself relevant. Like in yeah. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> All right. Shut up. Oh okay. God. Six months that would have been a valid point. Shut up. <laughs> well, okay. I'm uh, pretty sure days will still be in beta and alpha in six months. So they got time. Yeah. They got time. All right. Uh, what have I done this week? I have. Well, I've been working my ass off. Oh, I work a lot. Um, again, we, we're short of managers, so we're doing extra hours. So I am in the middle of a 13 straight day job um, process here because I lose my vacation. My one day off right now is Wednesday, Uh-oh. and I lose it this week because it's Fourth of July and it's a mandatory work day. Mandatory. So I got yeah. We work we work week uh, all holidays and weekends. Do, Managers work do all holidays. Really come in and go like, oh man, it's Fourth of July. I need a new couch. Um, surprisingly, yes. Well, then Colorado's uh, messed up, man. I mean, this weekend too. I mean, we have we're not having any big fancy sales, but people. It seems like around the holidays they think furniture sales and prices are go down. Our prices stay the same year round because we have the lowest prices anywhere, and we did. On Saturday, Saturday, and I have no problem saying this. Saturday, we did over three hundred thousand dollars at my store alone in sales on furniture, and then uh, on three hundred and ten thousand dollars in furniture wow. sales. And then on Sunday, we did three hundred twenty-four thousand dollars in furniture sales at my store alone. So it was just like it was incredible. Yeah, but, you, you know, I was just thinking because I when. Um, when you, uh, before you'd shown us, like, uh, how big it is, like, the store, right. I, I always thought it would be, like, like one of those, um, 
I don't know, it's, I don't know how big, but like uh, big enough to hold like a lot of furniture. You know, one of those like showroom type uh, buildings. But right. when you show like when you showed me like oh showed us the size of it, that I, I, I don't know. That sounds like it's just and like it's a lot of money, but like for the 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 the, the size of the freaking place is like considering right. Right. it doesn't seem like a lot of money though. Well, no. Remember my warehouse, the warehouse of the store I am, that, that branches off of like six different satellite stores that come to their, that's my store. So the mm -hmm. six satellite store, when they sell furniture, they send them, send them to my store to pick up the furniture. Can you give us the so, inside yeah. scoop junk? Let's say a so, chair is selling for 600 How much did you pay for that? Uh, if it, we don't sell any chairs for 600 Okay, let's say a couch came in. You're selling it for 600 And it's couch... It could be anywhere from, I mean, it could be all kinds of different prices. It could be anywhere from $500 cost all the way down to uh, $100 cost. Really? We run on a 35% margin. Okay, is what that's we the margin? Oh, my. Our whole company profit as far as sales, um, as far as the cost of the lights and electricity and all that crap, we run mm -hmm. on a 35% margin. And that's not a secret. It's actually out there in books and stuff. So I would hope it's not a secret. Otherwise, you're getting fired. So, <laughs> I have no problem there. My, my, the CEO of the company says it in a video and a book that he, uh, that he sells at the store if people want to read it. You ever think about uh, taking the CEO, CEO out for, like, you know, lunch or something? Uh, no, he pretty much ignores me when I, he walks by. That's cool so. guy, cool guy. <laughs> just, uh, I say, hey, boss, and he, goes, huh. and he, he nods his head. You know what annoys me? I don't know if it annoys anyone else. When you do, uh, when, someone, when someone does something for you and you're very appreciative, like, oh, thank you, thank you very much, and it's like, yeah. Can I get like a yeah. your welcome? Uh, I hate that. You know, or just like, I hate that so much. Well, they say sure. Like, can I get your welcome? But, but you got to remember, my my boss though is he's a local celebrity. He is the second most known public figure in the state of Colorado, second most, and that's he's actually famous. He's a celebrity, a local celebrity. So when he comes to the store, he likes to walk through as quick as possible and goes and runs right back to his office because people otherwise. Everybody at the store tries to stop him and say hello and shake his hand and everything. So, and he's just a business guy. It's just he's done commercials for thirty years, so and everybody knows him from doing commercials for the last thirty years. My so God. he's actually, he, and it's a fact. He's the second most um, popular or well-known guy in Colorado. Who's the the uh, the first, the governor? Uh, nope, John Elway. John, ah, oh, okay. There you go. So he's he's right behind John Elway. That's pretty. The state and you you almost see him every day. Or whenever he comes yep. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys are He job. hired me. Right. So. Okay, anyway. So what else have I done this week? Uh, went and picked up my daughter's pictures, uh, her senior pictures. Um, I'm debating on... They actually put a nice little uh, uh, a video of pictures of the pictures together. And so while I'm watching this, and they got some music behind it, I, I, I told the lady, I said, um, do you have the copyright authorization for this song? <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm thinking now. If I put this up, is that good or bad? And that would it be bad if I sh put? I'm very proud of my daughter and her accomplishments, and she's and she did a great job and beautiful job in the pictures. Is that wrong if I wanted to put, share that with everybody? Well, I think it's more of a uh, like a private thing, right, or like a friends and family thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. So it's it's I'm it's a hit and miss thing. Do I want to do I want to show a, a good little? You know, a whole bunch of pictures, but I know that there's a whole bunch of pigs out there too, and I probably have to turn off the chat on the video if I were <laughs> yeah. to put it up. So, <laughs> um, went fishing on my day. I did the day I did get, have off, but nothing. Uh, there was nothing. Uh, fish weren't biting. It's too hot. The fish aren't eating at all right now. It's just way too hot. You tried dipping your penis in there? Yeah. They would like well, to get a taste of that junk. Well, no, because oh. they, they would have gone and bit for the you know they're looking for worms and that thing's a uh, python so um what else yes. let's see they don't want junk's <laughs> python <laughs> uh what else did i and then uh, that's about it just stuff around the house that's about it well that's not a bad little uh list of things to do yeah no yeah. i was uh, busy all, i mean it's never ending around here it's always something to do well that's life because if life was ending well pretty sure we got some issues junk there you go there you go all right uh i guess that's all of us all right uh looking on the list here let's uh moving right along 
Google Glasses. Uh, did you guys see the video or hear about more information about the Google Glasses? I, Do you I have, have that? no idea what this is. What is Google Glasses? Do you have that one picture I sent you, Chill? It's Google Glass, but they're just glasses. You sent me a broken thing. I, will... I sent you a link. It was, is it the, it was a poor the dude link. jumping out of the blimp? No. He's, oh, about the chick? Uh, the hot chick? Yeah. The one with the mustache or no? No, not the one with the mustache. The one that shaved her mustache with the... Uh, oh, I have her. Hold on. Yeah, put her up so you can see what the glasses are. They're really now, the stylish. Glasses, now, and now um, apparently what the glasses are... Yeah, that one right there. Okay? Oh, wow. So those are the glasses. So you can see it actually you know has a computer screen in your eye, but it's also a camera as well, a video camera. It's actually pretty amazing. Where is it going to go from here? Now, Diction, you actually read a little bit or you saw, heard a little bit about it? Yeah, I saw their 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 first, like, uh, video preview of it. Um, and then I watched the parody video where this guy showed exactly what it would be like if uh, that were, if people were to use Google Apps, which is just him trying to manage all these tasks that are in his face and he just keeps bumping into stuff and getting hit by cars and shit. <laughs> um, and it makes a lot of sense. I mean, the way they, they showed it, it was like that the the interface is not directly in front of your eyes. It's just like off to the side so you can ignore it pretty easily, you know, like it's in your peripherals. Uh, HUD, um, man, it's going to be so awesome. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool, but I wouldn't want to wear it like while I'm walking. It would be more like I'm in a restaurant. I'm like, fuck, I want to check my calendar or something, you know, like or like I want to use this app. That's kind of cool. Well, now, but, how do you, you know, move like, it? How how do you what's a mouse? How do you move it up? And down? You don't you don't you don't move it. It's it's voice activated. So, you're, so it's really? like people, it's so like Siri kind of. Yeah, yeah. But essentially, I think one of the coolest features that you could possibly have is you throw on the glasses. You have a loved one that throws on the glasses, and boom, you got video chat like that. Yeah, video chat. Um, oh, you can that's make cool. calls. It's like Bluetooth. You can make calls and stuff. You use Skype probably. Tell so them in the future. It's gonna man. be like. Well, it's like Bluetooth. Now, you see a lot of people use Bluetooth nowadays, and then, um, but uh, for a while, everybody used Bluetooth, and then it went away. And But now people are starting to pick it back up because it's of the, obviously the safety reasons when driving and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of, uh, uh, there's going to have to be regulations that you can't wear, it, obviously, while driving. That's uh, true. Yeah, I was going to say that. They can. They look pretty concealed as like regular glasses. Now you got like, yeah. you got like a video player in your face kind of thing. Unless you, yeah, go, you, know, to... you have like a, if there's going to be an app that helps you with your speed control or something on it, I don't know, that connects to the car. Or like what this guy says, Google, open Pornhub. I want to be there. You know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's <weird. laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to be really bad if people are, you know, trying to do stuff on there and they're driving at the same time. Because, I mean, it's pretty bad enough already with people, you know, drinking stuff and always on their phones and like regular texting even and that kind of thing. Now they got that distracting right in their face, so it's kind of silly. So there's, there's definitely going to have to be regulations put forth and laws because there always is just to, and, and with that that aspect of the dang thing. But as the way they look, they're actually pretty cool. They do look pretty neat. It's you know futuristic, um, somewhat you know sci-fi, but. I guess it's getting to the point where slowly but surely we are moving into that age. And the reason I say that is because I remember back in the 40s when I, you know, before I kicked Hitler's ass, you know, when <laughs> it was a scenario was of... That company of Heroes? Yeah. yeah we, didn't, we shouldn't talk about that junk. We didn't yeah, even come we'll close. <laughs> yeah, you notice we didn't talk about uploading that at all. <laughs> <laughs> we all like that. Oh. I like that game, but that's another story. But... Seeing, I remember when we used to read about the sci-fi stuff, read about futuristic things and the movies and all that and stuff. And Norman Jaden of the FBI. Now, a lot of those Oh, man. Are... <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot about I'm that. I'm going to be Norman Jaden. Norman oh, Jaden. I can't wait. I'm going to kick a chair. Jaden. <laughs> well, but you got to look at, too, where did a lot of the phones come from? You know, a flip phone uh, style. You know, that came from Star Trek, you know, right? Did it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yep. Motorola the built that after the mod, because the guy that built Motorola built the phone after the uh, the James Kirk 
um, thing because he thought it looked cool and he goes, I want to build a phone one day that looks like that. Now, obviously, the first Motorola was a brick, but when he got to the point where <laughs> he was able to build the technology, it was like that. So you got to look at how many sci-fi movies that have been out as far as potential, and you see them using all kinds of cool gizmos and gadgets in the movies that are actually becoming reality. Chuck, so you're telling me one day everything I see in the Star Wars universe I can have? Potentially, yeah. It's like I, want, I want the fucking editor. I want the editor from uh, Minority Report. I wanted yeah, I was just about to say. I, was, yeah. I literally just was about to say Minority Report was such an amazing film when it came out. And like the shit that like you do with like, it's like your hands to move the screens across. Right. Like, that was so amazing. That should be that should be like technology now. I want that. That's what I, I thought I would, the connect was going to be that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You <laughs> see like, shit that they like they they're announcing like, gaming and stuff. Like you're like, oh, oh I've got such high hopes for this. Did disappoint, me. right? <laughs> but you know, you see that stuff like on that show, what Hawaii Five O. You know, they show that they're actually using screens like that now. They but throw shit around. Yeah. Right, right, right. But yeah, that would be cool. Like in Minority Report and all that crap. And then they'll have holograms where, you know, you'll have a, like a 3D image of a, uh, I'll definitely have, you know, have a woman standing there for me. That'd be nice. Junk, you're, you're married. I'm not dead. All right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so anything else anybody want to share on those things? I, I, honestly, I just, even if they didn't do anything, I'd still wear them because they look cool. <laughs> I feel, I don't know. The first thing I thought of when I saw the new design of it uh, was immediately of Halo 1 with those marines who have the little uh, cross-eye type thing, or even the Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter with the uh, little, oh, yeah, little cross-eye yeah, yeah. that popped up. How is that going to affect warfare? Will we get things like that where they can identify friendlies and put like red little boxes around enemies and blue boxes around friendlies? I don't know. Well, now, don't they have those? I thought they already had guns with uh, eye things on them already. I have no I idea. I think the most, the, the most advanced gun that I've seen so far in, in terms of like uniqueness, not... Not like uh, in like, not like optics or like being able to tell who's an enemy and who's a friendly. But the what is it? That gun that has like a TV on it and that you can oh, put it around right. corners. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's that thing is cool. It's like a shotgun, like corner gun or something. Unless someone's right. coming around the corner immediately as you're setting it up, that wouldn't be good. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hey, it's the future, uh, yeah. man. Google seems like it's leading the way with that. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. I, I'm curious to see where it's going to go. Google Maps it still blows my father's mind. He's like, wait a second. They were here? I'm like, yeah, they, they drive around. Oh. I saw my Have first you... Google Maps like car like, like yesterday. Did you really? I'd, I'd never seen one before, and I saw it. It was just parked outside some fancy house. I got to... And I just, like, freaked out. <laughs> Google me. Have you ever... <laughs> oh, my God. Take my picture. But, like, the it's car a Google, Google was, car. Like, I know. I've seen the Google car one time driving around, and it's got cameras everywhere on the dang thing. Oh, it's so mm. cool. It is cool. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I think it's weird. Like on iPhone, I was using the map and stuff when me and my friend were kind of lost. Because um, you can turn on the like location thing, and if you turn your phone, like the thing turns as well. Like it shows like an arrow, and it shows if you're pointing north or if you're pointing like south or west or whatever. Oh, God, a and everything is kind of creepy. I think that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, not like a compass. It actually, ha well, iPhone has a compass, but on the map thing, like it shows where you are in like relation your phone. to anything else. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's cool. It's creepy. Ugh, I don't like it. That's funny. So Jan's resisting technology. I'm embracing. Take me <laughs> somewhere. I am embracing certain technology. You just don't want them to know where Some you are at all times. Remember yeah, because it's you creepy. Space You're gonna have to put the pencil down sooner or later. The pencil's gonna have to go down. No, no, I like the pencil. Yeah. The pencil doesn't screw me. Pens have screwed me. Computers have screwed me. Technology. Pencil has never screwed me. Unless <laughs> it's all the graphite is just like snapped inside. Okay, I've had to issue, but really, it was fixable. No. It works. Yeah, it is fixable. You just got a new pencil. Uh, yeah. All right, let's move on here because we're we're actually going to do about a two hour and so because we, three hours we were it's just a little longer so we're going to try to see what we can do here. Probably wrap it um, up around ten fifteen Eastern Standard Time ish. Get, yeah, games going all digital now with this. Oh. You were reading something about EA has did a press release that they are getting to the point where they are going to only offer their games 
as download digital content only. You're not going to be able to buy anything, any box anymore. You're not going to get anything with the CD. Um, pretty much going to twofold. One, for the consumer, you're not going to have that touchy-feely thing. For the manufacturer, they're going to save a lot of money on mark on packaging. That's, so, that's true. I mean, if they're looking to cut corners, that's the one way to do it. Right. And that's what it's going to be. And it's at the point now that, you know, EA seems to be really, um, EA or Activision, because they're the biggest ones and they're the pain in the ass. And the, they're, but they are the ones that keep leading the way on a lot of this stuff. Well, do you think they have the mentality of the too big to fail mentality? So whatever we do, we're hoping people are just going to adapt to it? Pretty much. That's pretty much definitely what their attitude is. Like, me personally, I would be extremely pissed because they, they don't have an exact time frame of when they're going to go completely digital, but that is their goal. That's the company's head direction. They want to go completely digital because that's where they're making the most money. Uh, but I really, like, right now I'm holding a box. I don't I don't care what's in the box. I just like, I just like having the box here just to open. I don't know. Like, right. when you have digital, I have, like, I don't know, 100 games on Steam or so, but it feels like I literally bought nothing and I have nothing to show for it. Well, especially like on Xbox, you know? I mean, what, what we're supposed to download it and fill up our freaking memory drive with their stuff? That's true. It's kind of small as it, well. It's it's just like yeah. back in the day and stuff, like, I remember games in the early 2000s from, like, uh, what was that? Frog game? Like, Dungeon Keeper Theme Hospital and stuff. And the manual, and, like, you get pictures and stuff in there, and the, the artwork was cool. Yeah. And, like, there's a lot of... It's like, it's like switching from... Uh, from uh, vinyl records to, to CDs, that sort of right. like transition, like they're not there's not a lot of effort into it. Well, Ubisoft and, has well, been one of the first companies to do that. Literally, I get their Assassin's Creed thing, and it's like a one page thing saying, "Hey, thanks for buying the game." When in the past it used to be like detailed of the either the lore, the background, all the enemies detailed, little descriptions of everything. And you only you go get home after buying the game, you go to the bathroom, you read the manual, you come out, you play the game. Now it's like I look at the back of the box and that's it. And in the future it's like, oh, I downloaded it. Now I have nothing to look at while I use the bathroom. Hmm. I feel like they're taking away my <laughs> shitting hobbies. Okay. I mean, if you want to like send them an email, <laughs> what's so wrong about? Like, I'm jumping in there for a second. You talk. What's so wrong about what he just said? I think a ch good chunk of us have done exactly that. All right, I know we've all done that. You can't bullshit me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bullshit a bullshitter, John. No, I was shitting while I was doing that, so no, can't. But I don't know. I don't. Now it's like I feel like now it's like to get that like because I I remember like there were some manuals for games where you get like cool little bits of concept art in the background yeah. or something, you know. Now it's like you have to pay extra to get that uh, in, like along with the game, like the special edition games, or you know, and stuff like you that. You do what Black Ops does, you know, when you pre-order your pre-order exclusive is <gasps> a wallpaper. <laughs> oh, you get Nuketown, even though you could probably, you know, get that a month after the release anyway. Oh, oh. See, the only problem is that I'll, I'll be on the favor or the plus side of games going all digital if they pass on those savings to us, but I know they won't do that. So, yeah. that's, that's See, I mean, Steve is, will, but... EA I, I've got, I've got my, uh, I just went into my closet, because, like, <laughs> some, like, all of this in my room, in the closet, there's, like, storage from, <laughs> like, everything that I used to have. Did you find Mr. Uh, Cooper? I don't need. I found my original copy of Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation oh, 1. Nice. And the manual inside is about almost a centimeter, so like half an inch pretty much. Yeah. And it's like artwork, epic story, right? And there's like three pages, four pages of story. There goes the description on the guns. The menu, like explaining the menus and stuff is just, like you don't get that anymore. It's just really frustrating. Yeah. To be honest. Maybe that's why we suck diction, because there's no more manuals. Maybe that's what, you know, maybe we could have been a lot better at games if we just had the manuals nowadays. Yeah, I guess all they want us to do is watch videos on YouTube on how to play the games. I don't know what they yeah. want. They want more money. <laughs> but uh, speaking of, of EA... The whole thing's aggravating. With EA in specific, what, what was I been hearing? You get, like, a free game on Origin or something? I was hearing... I don't know. I haven't heard, oh, I haven't no, heard I anything from it. I haven't opened Origin in like two months. My god, I have to open it because apparently EA disabled all my sims on Steam and made them work on Origin now. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what they did to me too. Right, so I can, I have to use Origin because my, my sims doesn't work on Steam anymore. Really? Yeah. Oh. Very weird. I did not know that. They like to uh, huh. control the market. A lot. Yeah, yeah, EA does. I mean, now EA is uh, it's not in a huge. friendly way, it's... in a very, in a very assertive like. 
what do you call that? The what, what the hostile takeover kind right? of way. Yeah, it's not like I'm getting Stockholm syndrome. Like, oh, I love my captors. No, I I hate my captors. I hate Stockholm yeah, syndrome. True. I mean, hmm. what now? What games do we have on EA? You got to think about it. Well, you got okay. Dead a couple a couple sports games. Obviously, Battlefield. Dead Space. Mm -hmm. um, Mass Effect. You got yeah. Oh, Dead Space Three. You got the Star Wars. Uh, for the most part. Uh, the, yeah. Hey, sucks. hey, I was, I used to be, a, I used to that be a defender sucks. of it, of its honor, <laughs> and then I played it. Uh, yeah, so it's coming down to you. There are quite a few games out there, you know, Burnout Paradise, you know, Burnout. Oh, yeah, that's that, true. That's that on Steam. That's so it's at the point of, like, son of a beeswack, we're going to have to do. There you go, FIFA, so, Dragon Age, Madden, NHL. Yeah, so there's just a ton of them. Yeah. So, anyway, and Jan, you got anything to add to it? Um, I just came back from taking a piss, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we were just taking the piss right. out of EA. That's all. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty much what oh, we were um, doing. I always have problems with EA, and I don't like them. So. Sounds like a plan, okay. except for Need for Speed. I I may have to buy that. So. Yeah, I agree. I play Need for Speed. It's pretty good. It's just the one problem that I have with Need for Speed is, what did they have? They released like seven games in the last three years. For Need for yeah. Speed, they have like so, yeah. the, the run, the hot pursuit, shift one, shift two, shift three, everything. Which is, oh well. Can't fight them out. I, I mean, saw them for like four bucks at a pawn shop. Well, week. one thing though, you gotta admit that, I mean, with the technology of any games, as far as moving forward, it's just what. It's just amazing as far as the the pictures, the the images, the the graphics. It's and uh, are they going to be able to download by downloading it? Are you going to be able to preserve that, or do you get better graphics actually having it? Or does it make no difference anymore? You cut out. <laughs> I couldn't hear what you said then. I think we was just oh. he was arguing, you know. Uh, are games going to run more fluidly off the disc versus off the hard drive? I mean, they are going to, in my opinion, you know, well, just facts of it, you can read data off the hard drive than you can read, we can read it faster off the hard drive than you can off a CD. So it is better to have it installed. Um, but depending on the way the game is made, you know, because certain games that they were saying for the Xbox uh, did poorly if you tried to run it off the hard drive, that it was optimized to run off the disc. Uh, but for PC games in general, you know, you install them. But it does eat up space. Uh, it does exactly. eat up a lot of space, so. So, mm -hmm. okay. Right. Well, I guess that's it in a nutshell. Anybody w want to add anything more to that? Anybody? Mm, no. I have nothing to say. Much All right. Um, now, you threw this one's up on here, Chilled. Assassin's Creed 3 Collection. Just a, now, just a little blurb on it. Well, because what it comes down to is this is actually comes to the same point of, of what we were just talking about. You're, for collectors, yeah. you're going, what is coming into the new, what's coming in the package? Well, what happened was they had, uh, they released the collector's editions for Europe about like four months ago. And they were getting all this cool stuff. And they finally released the U.S. version. And it's a, uh, it's a, a good size flag, 48 inches by 28 inches um, of the colonial flag with the Assassin's Creed symbol on it, a nine inch figurine and a belt buckle and the actual game itself. It, it, it's kind of skimpier than some of the European collections. The Europeans got a better uh, version than we did. Skimpy, well, what what they get? They got, um, they got a steel art book, uh, George Washington journal uh, replica, a uh, the statue, some DLC, uh, some stuff like that. Hmm. So our, our edition, I what guess about a, they gave us a What flag. about a dagger? They get a dagger, no dagger. too. No, no dagger. They gave us a flag, though, <laughs> like, I guess, but what, I, I really don't have a room for a, a flag. That'd be cool to get. Would that be cool to get a dagger? Like I think nice. they'd have some issues if they put a dagger or a tomahawk in the, the box. You think so? I, yeah. Yeah. Just a, it's a tiny bit. A couple of, you know, a little lawsuit scenarios and situations. A couple of loss, yeah. Definitely. Remember, if you take this knife, you can't kill anybody or hurt yourself. <laughs> Please don't hurt yourself. You can't do it. <laughs> that would be a good thing. Yeah, but you're dealing with humanity. And humanity is very bright these days. It's a bright star. That's good. Yes. I like that. But yeah, just that finally came out um, You know, after waiting for so long. Because they announced the European ones. Because, I mean, the game is in the, it's, it's set in colonial America. It's about time the United States finally got 
uh, collector's edition. But yeah, what happens if everything goes digital? Are there still going to be collector's edition offering? You know, if, if they if they want EA wants to go, although this isn't uh, this isn't EA, but if for example if EA wanted to go 100% digital, will they offer collector's editions anymore? Will like your collector's editions be well? You can download a wallpaper of the figurine. You know, is that is that what we get nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, they, and look at it this way. If they do this kind of stuff and they go digital, what's going to happen to, like, GameStop and things like that? Still, they're trying to kill Who them. Who cares? Hey, I like my GameStop. Let's forget my 3DS. Fuck GameStop. Come on. I was able to walk up there, get what I needed, and come home for a reasonable price. Even though the Without guy... Without being hassled No, no, the, the guy hassled me, and I just told him I don't like GameStop. I use Steam and Amazon. But afterwards, he left me alone. There you yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. It was a good... It was a good deal. All right. So anyway, so that's the collector stuff. Yes. I mean, do you have any collector's games right now? Yes, I have all of them. I have a few. Okay. Uh, Utoric, do you have any games? Did you buy any collector edition games? Uh, the last one I bought, uh, I think the last one I bought was freaking... Final Fantasy 14, and it was a waste of money because it cost like 50, fa 50 pounds, and then the game was shit. So, the one, I, one I got, um, it was Gears of War, and I got it, and it came in a tin box, and you open it up, and the CD was connected to a paper backing, which it was warm, it was hot or something, and the damn glue melted off, so it was like worthless. And it was just like, what the hell? I bought, I paid ten bucks more for a stupid tin box, I, which I was very annoyed about. So that was the last one, and it came with some book, but I, that was the last one I ever did. What about you, Jan? Um, I've never spent money on a like a big collector's edition thing. I just thought it was never really worth it too much. I guess I kind of mm -hmm. don't care a whole lot, but. <laughs> I like Jan. <laughs> what about you, Dixon? I don't know. Like... What was the question? I'm sorry. Oh. Do you ever buy any collector's I uh, collector's game? You know what? I don't think. Oh wait, no. I got I got Black Ops the uh, hardened. Edition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, this is back when Call of Duty was still like I, no. I was excited every no. year. <laughs> it was before I got a PC. It was before I could have like I I invested in a lot of other games that were better, but so, still. So hey, my so channel much. started with Call of Duty, so I can't talk as like, that much yeah. shit about. So so what did you get on that one again? Fucking was it the glasses? A metal case, a, a fake pendant thing, like wow, a metal. To wear it. <laughs> and something else. I think you got the first DLC free something or some to replace shit like your that. dignity. You know the usual. Yeah. I thought the, the only collector's edition I've ever bitten the ass from was the Halo 3, uh, uh, I don't know what it was, the limited edition Halo 3 one. I went midnight release, very excited, because, you know, I think I was, I was like 17 at the time, and like, oh yeah, met midnight release by myself, bought it, came home, and uh, what happened when there was a problem with the limited editions, and they didn't secure the game properly, so if the box was moved at all, the game would get thrown around, and when I opened the box... The game wasn't secured at all, and there were about 100 scratches on the back of the CD. And there we go, coming home midnight to play Halo 3, the biggest launch ever, and my game doesn't work. Sad day. That was easy. No, that was really hard and difficult, Jug. <laughs> that was very sad. Uh, okay, so with that said, let's uh, get to the next one here. THQ, what the hell is that? THQ and Vivendi. Uh, THQ, as we all know, is a sinking ship, currently worth about 31 cents per uh, per share for its stock. And what they're doing is you have to stay over a dollar to stay on the NASDAQ. Um, so they're doing a, I forgot what it's called, like a, re a reverse something, 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 something. Anyway, they're consolidating 10 stock into one stock. I don't know the specifics of it to make the stock price around $3. Um, effectively, I guess, in a way, just to stay on the NASDAQ. Um but by doing that, it just shows that they are really in dire straits if they can't even get their, their minimum bid on NASDAQ. Mm -hmm. Now, what uh, what does THQ do? The last thing they did, um, didn't they do the UFC stuff? They used to do... Yeah, they did. They did the UFC. Saints Row. They did Warhammer 40K, yeah. Battle of Some Saints. They did Metro 2033 as well. Yeah, and the last big thing was Saints Row 3. Uh, but they've just been going downhill ever since that. 
Now, what what is the demise of a game like that, or a company like that? Do they get too big? Are they spending all their money foolishly? Well, their biggest problem was they used to do a lot of the kids' games, like the SpongeBob games, the like the, the games that were the pretty much the ripoffs of the cartoon shows. They would do all of those, and they got a reputation oh. for that, and they just didn't sell them and lost money on it. And um, well, they went down. See, that's 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 weird because like my knowledge of. Uh, THQ, like my memory, when I think THQ, I think of uh, Red Faction. Really? Like the first one. I yeah, think of that's Fairly the... Odd Parents Battle Blast and Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I mean, I wasn't interested in Spongebob. As hey, 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 I, I, cartoon, I browsed so... the game store. I was just like, oh, look, THQ, cool. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I guess like people like latch on to different like, titles from various companies and they'll remember them from that. Uh, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, they did. They did so much of it. They were literally the kitty game sponsors when it came down to it, and uh, well, now they're going down the tube. Are they gonna? Are they gonna collapse, or are they gonna get bought they're out? Jerk? Pretty much already collapsed. No one, no one wants them. I mean, wh what do you have besides Saints Row and possibly Red Faction? Yeah. Right. Hmm. Kind yeah. Of... Well, yeah, because those are the only ones that I, I've ever heard of. So that's, that's all. That makes that's all you have left for actual. Uh, for actual existing IPs. And the other thing right. with Vivendi, um, apparently they no longer want Activision Blizzard, so they're either looking for a single buyer, because I think they have 61% of the company, they have a majority vote, so they're either going to end up selling it to one buyer or putting their stock out into the public, which would mean that someone else is now going to have a majority stake in the company. So, uh, so hmm. much math. Oh my I'm just word. saying, can you imagine? If... It's like last week you showed us that graph. <laughs> and stuff. It's like you had it readily prepared <laughs> and stuff. And I was like, that was oh, very I cool. <laughs> I didn't know how to read it, but it looked cool. Yeah, I knew how to read it, though. And, and sort of. Can you imagine so. if someone has a new, if there are new board of directors for, uh, for Activision Blizzard? They have to do a bunch of math? No, yeah, no, they have to appeal that. to someone else. Shit. Somebody said Company of Heroes is written by THQ. It is. That's who it was published by. Uh -huh. The Company of Heroes came out in 2006. So hopefully the new one will do it. Now, see. now if they go away, are the games still going to be okay without... I mean, they're not going to have any backing or anything it, like that. they got to I mean, find a new publisher in quick so they can get funding. I mean, because they're not going to have any up updates and all that crap are going to be gone. So eventually... All those games are just going to go away. Yeah, kind of. It's weird, though, but speaking of Vivendi, you know, Activision Blizzard are one of the few companies that are making a shitload of money, and yet Vivendi still wants to dump them off. They're the only company that is really following the trends of the NASDAQ, and, you know... Now, you got to wonder, then, is it is it the company, the way it's going, or is it obviously the company... And I'm guessing, they, and I'm going to say, it's, it's the way it's run. That's, that's what they said. That it, uh, It's got to be the people. Yeah, that one of the, mm -hmm. uh, the the current CEO was ousted for opposing restructuring, so they just got rid of him. And now they're right. going to sell it off. Yeah, and that's what it comes down to. If a company is run bad, if you have um, a mutiny, per se, inside the, the ranks... It, it, it's the downfall of any company. And, uh, you know, um, you know, companies, so many companies that do end up going to the point where uh, the final draw, you know, they, they bleed them dry. They, they're seeing the money coming in and they put it in their pockets instead of back into the company. And, and, and it's a sad scenario, but it's, a, it's, it's what it does, it, what happens. And that's why when you see a company that um, you got to look at uh, when you're in a company, if you're going to run a company, do you want to run it for the short term or the long term? And if you run it for the long term, you just got to pay yourself a moderate salary. You don't pay yourself, obviously, so much to the point where you know you could be so wealthy. It will be there eventually. And, and I see that because I say that because of obviously what I've seen my company do. It's a, it's like crash and burn. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, Rager, are you here? Yeah, I'm here finally. Hey, where you been? Hey, everybody! Fourth of July. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm going uh, on vacation tomorrow. Going up north. Going camping. North. If you go any more north, you're gonna Excellent. end up in Canada. Are you no. gonna shoot off fireworks in the middle of the woods? I'm gonna be the shooting off a shitload of fireworks. They just legalized that in Michigan finally, because we couldn't do like the ones that go off in the air. You know, we can only do like sparklers and shit. But now we can actually do the <laughs> we can do the big boy fireworks now and actually shoot them off. It's gonna be amazing. 
Okay. All right, Rager, let me ask I'm you this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So if we went camping and you woke up in the morning with Vaseline on your butt, would you oh tell anybody? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> has, this ha has this happened to you before? That's a good no. question, though. Would you tell anyone about it? I mean, <laughs> well, why? Why would you? Well, then you just you just got pretty much sexually assaulted, and now you're quiet about it. <laughs> but if what if that's a prank and like I want to have you, a Roman you candle. and Rager went and did that, and and Rage, you woke up with Vaseline all on your butt, but like Junker told like everyone of your friends that what he was doing, and then you never told anyone, and then like everyone's waiting for you to tell and like. You never did, because so you never you penetrated. Got violated. So if you even though you never penetrated, does it hurt at all? I don't know. Uh -huh. It depends. It depends if you brought Roman candles or not. Cut, <laughs> I don't know. Someone might have just been messing with you and put badly on your ass. Uh, yeah. Some weird shit, man. Or you're, or you're just used to it too much. I just really you're like. Used to it too much that it doesn't hurt. You built or up like a tolerance. Says, used to yeah. <laughs> oh god. Exactly. You're used to it too much. <laughs> what about you, Rager? Are you going to buy some THQ stock? Uh, I don't know. They're not that... I don't really like them anymore. <laughs> I used to buy all their games back in the day when they did, like, WWF games for, uh... 64. You remember those games? I, raw. I remember just Raw in general. WrestleMania 2000. WWF Attitude. WWE No Mercy. No fucking mercy! You don't remember that? I, no. I stopped after, uh... Oh Stop my watching God. wrestling after really the... It's like the best wrestling game in the world. Third grade. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this was when it came out in third grade about your time. Uh, I was in Nam uh, when, I, when you were in third grade, so... I knew you were 40-something years old. <laughs> I was off fighting the war and shit. Yeah, that's, just, that's exactly what he was doing. The junkyard was back there, you know... You probably uh, rubbed that Vaseline all over Hitler's ass before you shot him, didn't you? Um, well, I... Actually, well, no, you didn't shoot him. You just punched. You punched I him out. Punch him. I gave him. Why rope. would you Vaseline him up to punch him? Wouldn't that make your <laughs> fist slip? Okay, you don't want to do that. You don't You're just playing around with Hitler. Yeah, he's having no. a good time. Maybe the fist is going somewhere else. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there you go. You never know. You never know. I like the it. The more you, you never know. know. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that's that's fucked up. Oh, I, that's... Jamie, do you know where Fort McCloud is? Uh. No, I can. You can buy illegal parks. fireworks there. <laughs> I can. Yes. Yeah, but you lo you really like, missed out on Canada Day. Too. I don't really celebrate Fourth of July. Though, so. <laughs> I know, but it's fireworks. Everyone loves fireworks. I, you know those screamer fireworks? Yeah, the ones. That oh yeah, six. I strapped like two of those, one on each side of my uh, helmet. Like I had a little beer helmet on, and I strapped <laughs> one on each. But I, then I lit him on fire, and it was. <laughs> it started running. <laughs> That's called going full <laughs> retard, It makes man. it run fast. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but then once it wow. blows up, it sucks. You might want to throw that head off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't, my friend said he bought a bunch of fireworks in Fort McLeod and stuff like that, and he was going to light them off, uh, and then he gave them to some kids. So don't do that. <laughs> Someone got burned, apparently. Oh. Mm. That's how forest fires are. Yeah. That's how there you go. Well, I don't live in a forest, so I don't okay. have to worry about forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the prairies. We're going to set all the wheat and uh, canola on fire. Stupid hay barrels. I know, right? They're huge. They're um, half ton, or I can't remember if they're a ton or half ton, but something like that. They're huge. Is it called the prairies because of the prairie dogs? No, I don't know. no it's called the prairies because it's dog. flat and boring. Oh, okay. Have you ever had uh, <laughs> yeah. a prairie dog before? <laughs> huh? Have you ever no, prairie I've dogged it before? I've prairie dogged it before. <laughs> it's not good, man. That's a risky oh, thing. Oh, I, I get what you mean. Oh, My friend made a song about uh, rat Why? dogs or whatever. They're like, I'm prairie dogging it. Man. Hurry up. And she shows her like, ass out the window. <laughs> it's more gross because she's a little girl. Like, come on. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've seen that part. It's fucked up. Yeah, that's in the extended uh, unrated edition. Huh. Well, damn. Wait, what? You, yeah, wait, wait, which movie? Rat race. Rat race. Oh yeah. Mm. Like the new one, not the old one. Hmm. Well, it's not oh, really new, new anymore, one. but. Oh, you there, mean? There oh, was yeah, like the old one back in like the 80s, I think. I don't know. Yeah. And then she... Long ass time ago, when it was actually good. And then, I don't know. Oh. All, right. Oh. All right. Anyway. All right. Good. So that's uh. And uh. Well, you also got here late, Rager. Did you want to share? We're going back, which I normally don't do, but. Holy Since I like you for some reason, uh, did you want to tell us what you've done this week, last week? 
Um, that's pretty, that's gonna be very vague. <laughs> it's just, I worked a shitload just so I can have these next few days off for, for my vacation, so. That's why I was late today, because I had to work, it sucks. And, and sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to, you know, have your vacation time, so. Did you buy anything cool. new? Anything, uh, anything good? Uh, oh, I bought Sneak King on eBay. Hey, hey, I bought Sneak King. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I'm gonna do some videos on that. Uh, I gotta do that tonight, actually. I, I gotta do. First. I gotta make a bunch of videos tonight, so I I, can, I have them all uh, laid out, you know, during the week. So kind of did what I'm gonna do. What you did uh, oh, when you finals? had exams. Yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna do every fucking thing tonight. I gotta, you know, I waited till last minute. So after this podcast, I gotta go and record a bunch of shit. And when are you leaving? Tomorrow oh, morning. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> and I gotta pack. I gotta do my clothes. I gotta do a bunch of shit. Do do some shit, man. Do lots yeah. of shit. I know you got, all, you got, all, you got all you know, I'm away for a whole week, so I'll cry a little I don't, bit. I don't know I don't know what you guys are gonna do. Um I'll I'll do an impression of you next week. All right. Cry. Just, just cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're, we're gonna be so sad we're gonna cry. Yeah. So all right, well good. I'm excited um, though. I, I actually got a week off for my birthday. A couple of weeks, so pretty excited mm -hmm. for that. Yay! Yay. What, are you gonna, what are you doing for your birthday, do you know? Fuck all, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh no, I'm probably going probably gonna to go out to dinner with some friends, maybe just go see a movie or something like that. Not sure. The new Spider-Man. Oh, I'm seeing that tomorrow. I heard that was pretty good. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. I heard it, it looks okay, well, terrible. I... Well, you saw it already? No, I said it looks terrible. I don't oh, see you it. Can't judge it a looks. Movie by it the looks. Trailer. It looks no. It looks better than the third movie. Okay, at least. Emo Spidey. Yeah. And I like Andrew I, Garfield. He's a good actor. I'd rather see yeah, Ted than I'd see Spider. -Man. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather see Ted as well, but I still want to see Spider Man. I'm more interested in Batman than I am Spider Man. To be honest. I want to see that game ruins everything in the movie, doesn't it? Yes. Have you guys played a game yet? I, from the interview oh. I saw, they said it had nothing to do yep. with the story. I was hoping that was true. I heard it spoils the shitload from the story really? of the movie. Yeah. God damn it. That's just what I heard, though. I don't know. I like the the Gears of War camera angle that makes it impossible to see where the fuck you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Whose bright fucking idea was that? It's got to be gritty, so the camera has to be super close up. But sir, don't people want to see where they're flying? No. Fuck you. Get to work. That's yeah. what I, think that's I, I saw some videos online of the game, and I mentioned on Twitter, it's like, how the hell does he swing on top of buildings? I don't get it. Like, he just he launches his webs into the air and it just magically just catches onto a cloud and it keeps on going, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Science. Well, that was even in the movie. Like, he's, like, right in the middle of the street. He's not holding onto any building at all. <laughs> can you can tell. Uh, It'd make more sense if he's more to, like, the side, but he's literally right in the middle. It just doesn't make sense, so. It's just those little things we'll that ruin see, we'll games. We'll see if it's like me. that. I, I can't take it seriously if you know I'm on top of buildings swinging and shit. <laughs> we'll see if it's like that in the uh, the next movie. If he's like right in the middle of the street holding onto nothing. My God. Well, so I think we'll Spider-Man Two, the game, actually you couldn't do that. You you had to stay below the buildings because it actually you know swung onto the it actually clings to the buildings, but. I guess he got lazy, and they're like, okay, fuck it. We're just going to have him swing in the clouds. Nothing will ever beat the Spider-Man 2 game. <laughs> Nothing. Spider-Man 2 was the shit. Yeah, that, that was that broke grounds back in the day. I remember I went to Blockbuster the day it came out, and it was sold out everywhere. I couldn't I couldn't get it. I was so mad. My parents were like, okay, we're going we're gonna to take you to like the Blockbuster 10 miles away. And I'm like, oh, sweet. And we go there. It's sold out there. And you're like, okay, we'll go you know, 10 more miles. And it's sold out there. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was back in the day before Gamefly or any other cool services. Well, now, isn't there going to be a new Avengers game coming out? And Spider Man's supposed to be, and Spider Man's supposed to be with them in that one. What? That's I thought Spider Man was too busy being emo during the whole Avenger thing. Well, no, I saw <laughs> some, there's supposed to be an Avengers video game coming out, and Spider Man's supposed to be in, with it. I don't know how it's going to work. I have no idea. Yeah. He's like dancing in the street. Uh, I'll look, you know, we'll down. look into it. We'll look into it for next week. There you go. We'll look and get more details about emo, it. Uh, eyeshadow. All right. So um, all right, let's get uh, so we can get some calls in. Let's go download content. Well, we talked about that a lot. Well, here's my problem in general. Do you know how many copies right. Battlefield Three Premium sold? How many? Fifty billion five thousand. Wait, 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 wait. Can you do it by platform? Do you know what platform? Do I know by platform. I'm curious to see how many 
What? And I it was downloaded. Don't have it by platform. Okay. And it was downloaded. Yes, this is all downloadable content. Oh, wait, wait, what's your what's your opinion on the force marketing by Battlefield Three? I don't know if it's really force marketing. No, for uh, wow, oh, fuck, what's it called? You gotta download. Uh, Oh, uh, what's it called? Orders? Origin. But, yeah, force marketing with Origin. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's, you have to download it to play online. I get it, but it sucks. They want some of the market share. So I, I get that. I'll just... You think it'll, do you think it'll ever be like Steam? Yeah, in time it will be, because eventually they're going to start to rival Steam in their sales and their bet catalog, and Steam's going to have to get even better. So I'm okay with it, actually. Because they have to compete now. Now, now is Steam... Steam is Valve, isn't mm -hmm. it? Or they're not? They are. Steam is yes. Valve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Junk, so, yeah. do you play video games? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Continue on with your DLC. Uh, okay, but dumbass. they sold, uh, what should we call it, in the first two weeks, 800,000 copies. Holy Bringing shit! Bringing in $40 million. Oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Kind of surprising. You know, and... That is so much. They said by comparison, um, Call of Duty Elite only managed to sell 2 million since November. You know. Because it didn't See, work. That's, that's, Premium that's, worked right away. Yeah, well, that's true, yeah. too. <laughs> but you only got access that, that to one thing. A, that will definitely be over all three platforms as well. Yeah. So for it to pretty much get half of it in two weeks for Battlefield, which didn't even, which sold about half the amount of copies as Call of Duty did, that's pretty impressive, but it just goes to show, I mean... Yeah, I guess it increases the longevity of games, but imagine if there was no DLC, how much more jam-packed the initial game would be. Mm. Then I mean, uh... the, the, the DLC, the premium was, like, I've, I've only bought one DLC for COD, and it was uh, Modern Warfare 2, and the DLC for that, the, on Battlefield 3, the premium, mm -hmm. it's so much better, and it was so fucking good. They actually and give like, you stuff, and not yeah, just you maps. Actually, yeah, what, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like, I was really... Like, uh, really pleased with that, so, compared to the other stuff. And, oh, and God. Chad, I don't have graphs. I, uh, I have no graphs. <gasps> no graphs. For once, he <laughs> has no graphs. Do you realize what you just did? What, graphs? You started the Battlefield 3 vs. Call of Duty conversation. Yeah, I love that conversation. Uh -huh. Well, it's obvious Battlefield 3 is... Realize what you've done! <laughs> but, um, yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, I mean, seeing how DLC is shaping up, I just as long as they give me the value of it. I mean, because when you think about DLC as well, you also got to throw the Mass Effect three endings on there, as uh, as you know, DLC, which they did for free, which completely changes the ending of how no. it initially was going to be developed. I don't know if the ending is any good or if it was any bad, but just the fact that they're doing it means they're willing to completely change the endings based on you know fans. Now, how much was the game last week when they released it? Uh, Mass Effect three. No, 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 no. The oh, one, it's, it uh, was last 50 bucks a premium. So it's still 50 bucks downloaded, and they still made $40 million. Yeah. Wow. Making a lot of money. Someone's wow. living on a private island right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. That's my problem. It's a Vaseline on their ass. <laughs> wow. All right. And on their fist. On their oh, fist my God. <laughs> Is that even possible, uh, fisting your asshole? Yeah, well, females do it all the time, I've been told. Jan? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you've heard. <laughs> oh, boy. Nothing to add to no, that conversation, no, let's move Jan. on, Junk. Let's no. On. Yeah, I was going to say. All right, are we going to do calls, and who's saying the calls in? Well, you, oh, I forgot. You Torek is going to be uh, eating, correct? Yeah, I forgot he was in Canada. I had no idea. <laughs> Yeah, I came on Friday. I wonder why it sounds like you're in the bathroom. What, does it sound different? It sounds like you have an echo or something. Yeah, my room's really empty. I thought you were uh, in the, the closet. No! Oh. Shut up, John! <laughs> I went in the Anderson. closet. I didn't come out. I didn't Wait, say why? I you're came in, out in no. the closet. He went in the closet so to get closet. Anderson Cooper. No, he went in the closet to get Anderson and Cooper brought him and back, came out. back out. Oh, yeah, we never did talk about well, him. Good on him. Good, yeah, good for him. Good for him. Very proud of him. So hopefully uh, hopefully, hopefully one call? day people can have like long standing uh, careers in entertainment and media and not have to hide that shit. Yeah. And they just like, they get go, like, oh, yo, yeah, yeah, I'm gay. It's cool. Whatever. I love Neil Patrick hey. Harris. And on to the news. Neil Patrick you know? Harris, I'd do him. <laughs> oh, so, God. Ten times over. Awesome. I know. I'm so pissed. He's like the greatest human he's being the only on the face. the gay person I'm mad at. That's it. 
Just just because he's so awesome. <laughs> Stop being so awesome. God. God. Wait, Shell, are you hiding something from us? For Neil Patrick Harris and Orlando Bloom, yes. Anything no, else? Just just oh, man, is he gay yet? I want I'm him to Orlando Bloom. I'm waiting out. I wish he was gay. He would be, he'd be such a good gay. Um, oh, well. What if Edna <laughs> Watson was a guy? <laughs> I don't have to worry he about would. That. He would make he's so a guy. Yeah, he's a good-looking guy. <laughs> you ever see Orlando <laughs> Bloom? You ever see Orlando Bloom on uh on uh oh extras that Ricky Gervais show? No. Yeah. And he's like he's like consistently trying to hit on the female lead of the show. Yeah. And like he's like he's like are you kidding me? I'm Orlando Bloom. Come on. You wanna go get a drink? And she's like no, I'm not interested. And the entire episode, he's trying to like convince her that it's like a good idea for her to go out with him. <laughs> And his, his ego just keeps getting broken, more broken and broken. It's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end up Alright, who's taking calls Who wants tonight? to be the call guide? I did, I did it last time, so... You want to do it again? <laughs> Alright, you want to yeah, do it again? <laughs> right, I'll do it again. I vote, I vote Rager. <laughs> I got to delete Rager, all these 180 it. people first. Hold on, oh, get normal. Oh. Do, do that later, MLG do clicking. That. This is if you want to add him on Skype. We will be going for another 45 minutes. We're wrapping it at the 10.15 Eastern Standard Time mark. Oh, 10.15? Yep. Yeah. Going on for two hours and 15 minutes. I feel like that's a uh, an appropriate that's call a good, That's a good yeah, time. It's, it's a good leg. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got some good conversation. All right, guys, don't add me right now. Do not yeah. add me you right now. add him right now. Add him. Go. Oh. Oh. Right now. Add him right now. Add me right now. I'm not going to get to your call. Forever. Yeah, like yeah, right yeah. after, I have to quickly get change, and I have to run to the store and get a Visa card and buy a hard drive. Well, right now? So, yeah. Oh. But, I'll, I'll, I'll take the rest, but right after, a right after. I was going to ask you a question, though. No, no, no. Ask me. I'm leaving, like, when we end it. Oh. Uh, like, I have to, like, leave instantly, but uh, what were you going to ask me? What is there a story with the flower? Uh, the flower. Um, Someone took hers. One of the... Oh, oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> the front desk girl, uh, the front desk girl at the hotel, she has a roommate who makes all these flowers and stuff by hand. Like she cuts out each individual individual petal and glues them together with like this um, little like root thingy or whatever, and uh, puts hair clips attached to the back. And that's pretty much it. So I bought, I think I have a purple and pink one, the red one, and then two small uh, purple and blue ones. And stuff. I haven't really worn them in my hair out in public, but I just I thought I'd take a picture with it because I thought it looked cool. So it does look cool. It's, it's a pretty, very nice flower. Too much that. Oh, well, thank you. It's very. I didn't make it's it. Really big I too. Still said thank you. Cool. Jong, don't you pick it flowers too? It's kind of. Do I pick uh, flowers? Yeah. I, I pick flowers. Whips it to you. All right, uh, you got any calls coming in, Rager? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> What's it to you? I can see Junker, like, frolicking in the fields, picking flowers now. <laughs> I tiptoe. What kind of flowers? <laughs> Are they, like, daisies or... He's got, like, baskets, and, like, he's just skipping, and there's, like, <laughs> yellow, yellow flowers. I'm so happy What's today! What's wrong with that? <laughs> here. Oh, fucking oh, flowers! <laughs> I'm gonna have to play that PC, uh, PS3 game, Flowers or whatever that one. Was. Oh, that game is so relaxing. I love Flower. it. <laughs> Flowers is, is that and Journey. It's the same, the same, the, the or that game company. They're just they're both high all the time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're like really trippy <laughs> games, but they're really trippy games. Okay. That. Okay. They're not like Katamari Damashi, where it's just batshit crazy. I believe they. I love that game. They're an American developer. <laughs> You know, you don't always have to kill somebody. That's true. Yeah, you know, when playing a game. Sometimes you just pretend That's... like you're on acid. Right. All right. Uh, Hazard. Hazard, yes. welcome to Chronocast. Are you there? Hi. Yeah. Hey, so where are you calling from? I'm um, calling from Arkansas. Arkansas! Excellent. It's hot and humid down in Arkansas, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. hot and humid everywhere, it seems like. Even no, here, it's like in Colorado, degrees. we got a dry heat here in Colorado. What? There's we like a fire. Colorado's Colorado's fire, fire. Make it fire. That's fire. different. We got fires everywhere. I thought it made it hotter there, though. Didn't it? Oh, that's if you go up to the fire. Yeah, I <laughs> saw. <laughs> Stay in the city. It's not raising the temperature down here. So, anyway, I so I was uh, ask about that. Yeah, no, it's a, it's it's just smoky. I mean, a lot of people are getting respiratory issues all over the city. I got a lot of my employees keep calling in sick because of respiratory issues. 
but as long as you stay away from the mountains, you're fine. So yeah, so. I I'd, I'd hate to be there because like even I was at, I was just at a like a bonfire thing last night and like I woke up this morning with a headache because the smell of just campfire just gives me a headache and everything. Yeah, so Rachel, when you start your campfire, you be careful. Oh, I'm always careful. I got a glass of gasoline next to me, and I can start it in like two seconds. A glass yeah. of gasoline? Are you like that chick from <laughs> say My Strange Addiction? Oh, you take, yeah. a, you take a gasoline <laughs> can, you put it in the glass, and you can fill it up with the These gasoline and throw it in the fire. Oh make sure, you, make sure the fire is already going before you do it, though. Wouldn't you only put it in a glass if you're going to drink it? No. no. <laughs> it. Yeah, don't mix it up for beer. So <laughs> so Hazard, you got a uh, question for, for uh, one of us or all of us? Well, this is like to all y'all. Like, what are you gonna do for like? What is your plans for your channel in the future? Oh, like, okay. Are you still gonna do YouTube if you ever like decide? Like, if you stop, like, what would you do Thanks. after that? Uh, Junk's going to the flower business, I think. Yeah, well, I'm gonna join the flower <laughs> business. Uh, you know what? I'm jumping. Shop. All right, here, here's the scenario. This is what I did. Um. I actually took uh, what a couple months off this this at the beginning of the year because it was just like at the point of I was getting a little burned out. Do I want to really keep doing YouTube? YouTube wasn't going the direction I thought it was, but you know it is what it is. So I took a break from it, and I realized when I took a break from it, um, I missed it. So it was just like. Well, what the hell? You know, if you miss something and you enjoyed it, I mean, financially, was I looking at one time for YouTube to be my sole income? Yes, it was. And that that was my ultimate goal at one time. And then when I started doing that, I lost the, I lost the love of video games. I lost the love of, of what I was doing. I, I just stopped enjoying it, and I was more of a job. And, and it was a job that I just, I was, eh, eh, I sort of enjoyed. Then when I got my opportunity to do what I'm doing now at the furniture store, and I can honestly say I, I truly love my job. I look go forward to going to work. I look forward to everything and anything I do because there's always going to be something different every single day I go to work. I really love going to work, and I enjoy it. I said, okay, cool. I don't need to do YouTube anymore, and I'm just going to go ahead and walk away from it. And it got to the point where... After a couple months, I started missing throwing videos up. I started missing connecting with my viewers and the subscribers. You know, I got a ton of subscribers, but, you know, I only get a handful of people that actually watch my videos that I actually connect with. So it got to the point where, all right, you know what? I'm just going to go back to doing this for the fun of it. I'm going to go back to putting up videos when I can. Like this week alone, I only put up three videos this week because I haven't had the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with it. So if I'm able to keep doing this as long as YouTube's going to keep letting us do it and let me keep doing it as a hobby, that's the direction I'm going with this. And who knows when it's going to go? Who knows when the train's going to stop? I'm going to keep riding the train as long as it's going to keep but going, as it, long as I'm content driving. if it's going to crash drunk? I mean, junk. I didn't mean to call you drunk. drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. I I'm haven't drunk. drank anything. Junkyard, you're going to crash the chain, drunk. Oh, God. Drunk. Drunk yard. What about now? You showed you and I actually had this conversation not too long ago. We did. So. Um, you got to, I don't know, you got to do one which you enjoy. That's most all. If you're fortunate enough to do what you enjoy, that's what you have to do. Uh, most people don't yeah. enjoy what they do, uh, which kind of stinks. And two, you got to do what is financial, uh, financially stable and financially reasonable. And if you're, if you're making a grand a month, it's kind of rough to live on. Um, but you got to do what is going to allow you to live as well as what you're going to enjoy. Um, but either way, I like what Junk said. I hope to do YouTube as long as it, as long as I'm allowed to. As long as you know, I could still pay bills and still pay for college and still keep it going. Until then, well, I guess I'm going to be here, uh, dealing with you guys. I, I guess. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, who else? I mean, uh, my goal, uh, my goal uh, in life has always been be a feature film director, and this is so. This has turned into something that's really fucking awesome and the same boat is chilled like until until this stops being something that's like you know like where i have to go get another job or something like that and keep doing it but it can also lead to my main goal which is to be a filmmaker exactly. and that's a, that's a really cool thing because i honestly a year ago i would have never thought that i'd be in a position where i could get discovered or whatever you know like that, how it happens well it's because of the bears that's why mm -hmm. 
Mostly just bears. The so power of bears, man. Power yeah, of bears. Bears. bears compel you. Uh, <laughs> Jan, are we going to do some more with your YouTube channel? Um, I was planning on it. I was actually going to upload a few things this week, but I've been so busy. Like, this is the only day I've actually been at home the longest and stuff. So, so are you and, uh, you're today I had with, So you're comfortable with the way your channel is going, though, right? Yeah, I'm not recording as much as I'd like to and stuff, but I don't know, eventually, and I'm not as busy. I mean, I get a week off and stuff in two weeks, so maybe around then, get together with some people and record or something. There you go. But yeah, it's pretty much going to be, it's, it's just for fun. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, future for you, Utoric? Well... No. The same as yeah, the okay, future no. is just yes, to wear good. more short short. Utoric has no yeah, yeah. Short, His future short. is in the short shorts industry. <laughs> He's gonna be a uh, It's the same. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's I the like same short. as what um Chilled said pretty much, but and then the same as what Diction said, but my career aim is to head into media with creating music. See, I mean, preferably game and uh, film. It's weird how but, the same journal goes. Diction wants to end up in film and specifically producing. I want to end up in the marketing aspect of games. You want? I want to do directing, writing, actually. Sorry. Producing sucks. <laughs> the actual. You could be a prime producer because you're good yeah, with numbers. Yeah, yeah. You want to be. The, you want to be the creative <laughs> end. Of it. It's it's weird how we all have the same common goal now, but different. Uh, we want to end up in different disciplines in the future. Yeah. Like now, what about you, Rager? Uh, I honestly don't know. I wish I. Okay. Did know. Good. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> I'm glad well, with my know. YouTube channel, it's been stuck in the same place it's been for like years, so nothing's really going on there. I can't really, you know, full time with that. Um, I got a full time job and it sucks, but it gets the bills paid and everything. So I don't know, I'm just holding out that maybe if something does happen to my YouTube, which it probably won't, or else it would have happened a long time ago. Lottery, um, man. Lottery. Well, now, are you, now, are you doing YouTube? But are you doing YouTube? To obviously make a living into doing it, or are you doing YouTube for the hobby aspect of it? Well, it started out as a hobby, then it just got to the point where just doing commentaries, and I don't know, it, it just got to the point where if you weren't doing commentaries, no one watched your stuff. So I was forced to go to, down to the commentary thing and start doing that. But I enjoy doing commentaries; I love doing it. It's just I don't get the viewers that I need to, you know, support myself for to do that for a job. So. Uh, I so still get money you, for it. I, I use the money I get to buy new games, which is awesome. Like, not, no one, you know, pretty much everyone I know uses their money uh, from work um, to actually, you know, buy their games. But uh, it's nice having that money so I can just be like, hey, this game I bought with Michelle my money, and I didn't really, you know, I didn't have to do that much to get it. So. Uh, and, but do you hmm. see yourself doing YouTube for a while? Uh, I'm not really sure. Like during the summer, I'm pretty much, you know, off doing my own thing. And then when the winter comes, there's nothing to do in Michigan during the winter. So that's why I like doing commentaries. Frozen, like, well, you stay inside. Like, and, you stay and inside, and that. you play with yourself a lot, though, right? <laughs> that's why yeah, he's got the Vaseline. Yeah. But I don't. I don't see. <laughs> it, I don't see having a YouTube channel, and you know, I don't see it leading to like a film production type job, which you guys want to do. But I don't see it leading to that. So I. And, you know, you have to go to school for that, so... If you, and I'm trying to... Yeah, uh, I went to film school for, like, 60 months, so I have, like, a background in film. Uh, I'm a college student, That yeah. helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, in order to get those jobs, you're going to have to go to college and do all that bullshit, but... Uh, Torx guys, arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> I already hey man, have my... Hey, man, yeah. he majored in show and tell, okay? <laughs> I did. Yeah. I, guess oh, I, I'm I'm in the, in I guess I'm in the same position as Diction, uh... But not for film, like for photography, because that's what I love so far, and just the interesting scenery of and stuff. I guess that's what I'm gonna do when I get older. But I've thought about YouTube, but I don't think I'm gonna do it because photography for me is just, I think where I want to be at. Well, now as far as the aspect of photography, do you do everything in it, meaning developing, taking pictures, editing, you know, messing with it on Photoshop or anything like that? Well, so far, just uh, take pictures, but I haven't like gone to the editing and see where I could like uh, develop it into that yet. You know, because there's a, if you, uh, is that interest? I mean, are you looking at the point where you just want to take pictures? Are you looking at the point? Because 
so many photographers nowadays, obviously they they just upload it digitally to the computer and they're able to uh, clean them up, you know, almost like uh, airbrush, like airbrush, they used yeah. to do airbrushing, but you do it on the computer. Is that the next step that you're thinking you'd like to take it? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I think just mostly with the camera, but then like, I guess for like news or like concert, stuff like that. Learn the editing portion of that because it is really important, and that's where the jobs lie. Right. I mean, you're that's gonna want to you're gonna want to be the one taking the picture, but they're also gonna want to know yeah, that you, can, you can be behind the computer and manipulate the photos after the fact. Like that's that's a big job mm. in the industry. Oh, she wasn't that cute. Also, <laughs> wedding photography, wedding photography, and videography yeah. is a big business, and yeah. you can work for yourself, and it's it's not too bad. <laughs> You're gonna be if you're cool with being on your feet for twelve hours straight and dealing with two really bitchy people who will not shut up and will not let you you know control your own set. It's the perfect Even job. Even better. That's why really I'm going to a <laughs> foreign countries to have arranged marriages and I'll go there and take wedding photos. There you go. They won't pay uh, you. They'll, they'll pay me in rubies. <laughs> <laughs> and rubies. All right. Well, good. Great. Great. Well, we got to get some more calls and answers. Has right. a great yes. question. Really appreciate you coming on board, uh, Steve. Try to keep a little bit cool, you know. Uh, use body powder if you start getting sweaty, and because uh, in the humidity down there, and uh, just uh, get him out of here. Bye, has it? Bye. 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 Good. I, I got a good, I got a good class next in high guy. school. <laughs> For Jan. I learned about all of the editing process. Not, That's mainly what I did. He has no clue. <laughs> on what? What is this? Jan, you're sexy. Yeah. That, that you, it's you are, you son of a bitch. What? His picture is Jan, you're hot. <laughs> oh, well. No, thank no, you. he's got no grammar. Oh, he's not here yet. Is he answering? <laughs> Jan, you're sexy. Oh, he answered. Hey, right, well, thank welcome you. to Grunk Ass. Whatever your name uh, is. Jan, you're sexy. Welcome to the podcast here. <laughs> Can uh, we. <laughs> you can yeah, tell we're... right there, Junk thought that was weird halfway through when he yeah, said I that. Know. <laughs> 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 like, this is weird. <laughs> I went, wait a minute, okay, because I call it, okay, anyway, where are you calling from? <laughs> Hello? 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 Is this like the silent protest? Hello? I guess it was. Oh, oh, it's, 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 oh, oh. He jumps. Should we do a staring oh, contest? Oh, uh, yeah, good. You removed him? Yeah. Get him out of the call. His grammar was hard. Right, good, good pick there, Rager. Get another one. I can't tell who these people are. Just grab anybody. Or how about bacon tits? <laughs> well, that's, what he, that's what he put in the description. Bacon tits. <laughs> tits. Oh, bacon tits. Got it. Bacon uh, tits. That would be interesting. Uh, Kobe? Yeah? Well, welcome to Chronocast. How you doing tonight? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah. All right. All right, co this is Junkyard. You are on Chronocast. Welcome. Thank you. Excellent. Where are you calling from? Louisiana. Louisiana, another southern state there. Excellent. And uh, do you have a question for one of us or all of us here on the group of Chronocast? Is Jill going to be doing more drip craft? No, no, we're shutting it down. Uh, <laughs> Dix and I will be keeping the treehouse alive, and you know, just we'll be doing it again. We just we keeping keeping people out of our exactly. treehouse. Exactly, we we put like stones around it, and uh, yeah. you know, no, we'll be good. We have to. I couldn't get the server to work, and Gam I think is currently uh, somewhere in the country, uh, but we'll try and get it going again. It's definitely it's definitely not dead at the moment. Okay. Well, thank you. All right, good deal. All right. Welcome. Now, uh, oh. right, anything else, Kobe? Not really. All right, buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for being on the show. Bears. Okay. Bye, Kobe. Bye. Bye, Kobe. Bye. 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 All right. His last name's Thibadu. That's Thibidu. great. Thibadu. Thibadu. All right, this next That's guy, such a good last name. I have no idea who the fuck he is. Alex. We'll just call him Alex if he answers. All right. All right. That'll work. Hello. Alex? Hey. What's going hey, on? Hey, welcome to Chronocast. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. How are you? 
I'm doing great, thank you. And where are you calling from? Australia. <gasps> Australia. What time is it in Australia down under? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a clock on me. Nice. So you just go with whatever happens. If you're yeah, awake, you're yeah, awake. Yeah, I've, I've been staying up to watch your chrono cast, so. Well, we appreciate it. You got yeah, a big man. fan in here. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Big That's fan. Good. I think your picture's Excellent. stupid, Canadian Australian man. Oh. <laughs> I think we got a okay. spy in here. Awkward. So, awkward. I think you spelled <laughs> your name wrong as well, Canadian Australian man. No, it's an Australian spelling oh. of him. So, so how do you I don't have an Australian accent. Are you just on vacation? Uh, my dad is Korean and my other dad is also Korean. Oh. Okay, so why don't you have a Korean accent then? Uh, because I'm adopted from China. Okay. <laughs> All right, so why don't what you have a Chinese accent then? China? Uh, because, well, I was left over there from Nigeria. So Okay, so where's your Nigerian accent there, bro? Nigerians don't have accents. Yes, they do. It's not <laughs> why aren't you it's trying, to, why aren't you trying to fish my email account right now and ask me if I can uh, wire you $5,000? I, I am $5,000. So why don't you have a $5,000 accent? I'm not understanding what's going on here. Why don't you sound I'm like money man? But the question is... Immortal, please! Amoto, get the hell out, Amoto. Get the hell out. What the fuck? I come in here. I can't even ask a question unless I impersonate somebody else. What is your question, Amoto? Who is this it? This is Immortal HD. Junkyard's still listening. Hey! How are you doing? Fucking Junkyard. Oh, what the hell is he doing in the car? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, oh, good. Meg. Can I ask a question? Well, then, the hell with all, well, the hell can I actually ask a question? Australia, yes, there. you can ask Oh, it's for Brennan! That's a good old question. Bullshit. Remove the from <laughs> Fucking remove. You're living on the edge, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your favorite on the edge? All right, so I think this will be a good one since since Junk is in here. And I think this can kind of apply to him. So you know how you have grandparents that tell you stories about shit like, Oh, I was in World War II and, you know, my brothers died and all that gay shit. Well, I'm thinking, like, you know, when we get older... And our kids are like, Grandpa, what'd you do? Are we going to be like, oh, well, I uploaded videos on YouTube and uh, <laughs> sat on my ass all day for about uh, 10 years of my life. I'm going to make shit up. What do you think will happen? I'm going to make shit up. I'm going to lie. I'm just going to make shit up for us, like you're actually... I'll tell them the plot of, like, Mass Effect. Life. Tell them that was me. Yeah, I'll keep... I'll keep telling him the story about, like, when I got my hot Carl tattoo over and over again until he gets sick and stop asking me questions about my youth. <laughs> Pretend you have dementia. <laughs> yeah. Start, like, start, like, waving your fist and be like, get out here, you damn kids. Yeah. Ah! Like, like, Makarov and... Right? Yeah. That one time you got a Moab. I saved the president, you know, numerous times. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, like, it's like what, you know, I'll just, I'll end up telling, just sharing stories like I share with you guys anyway, because what it comes down to is I'm old enough to be, well, not a granddad. You could yet, be. Your God. daughter could be promiscuous right now. I know, but. She's fornicating right now, Junk. She's out there. Oh, dude. my God. Junk, you have a daughter? Six How old is Junk's daughter? She's got two, and they're old. Like 16 year old. Oh, 16? And 22. I, I, I have a 22-year-old and uh, oh! almost 17-year-old. So. Nice. Do you have any pictures? <laughs> no. Well, that's it. See, now now I'm not going to put the video up because they're mortal. Because I, I was talking about it. Yeah, a, I wouldn't put it up way. for you. That's not a what good video. What the fuck? So with that said, uh, Putz, anyway, so with that God story, it, what, I guess what it comes down to is, is, you know, there's all kinds of stories. You know, do I want to tell – here's a story of, of uh, when I got – I was thinking – the other day because you know i got pulled over last week or two weeks ago uh for speeding i was thinking how many times have i been pulled over and is that something you want to share with your grandkids you know i don't know i've probably been pulled over a dozen times Whoa. i've got myself out of most <laughs> That's of my something I brag about i know well i got out of most of them Chuck, uh, are you doing some I, dirty but things? i remember i remember one time when i was driving a um, when i was how a teenager we were mode. driving a, i was i had a audi super 90 the thing was a tiny old piece of crap. I bought the car for two hundred bucks. The the muffler had a hole in it the size of my fist, uh, so it was louder than can be. And we went over to pick. I j I couldn't get the thing started for weeks. Finally got the thing jury rigged. So I was able to start the dang thing. So I got it started. My we went to go pick up my friends. Finding out when we went over there, there was like. A whole bunch of people in there. So nine of us climbed into my car. And if you ever saw a Super 90, 
they're actually pretty small. So, so with that, we're driving down the street, and sure enough, I miss shifted right when a cop drove by, and my thing just made extra loud noise. So you see him make a U-turn, pull over. It's like a whole bunch of clowns getting out of the car. And, and it's just like, all right, so everybody's out on the fence, and he checking my ID and all this stuff, and he's realized how much paperwork he would have had to do because of my vehicle. He says, you know what? Uh, why don't you just go away? <laughs> and... So I said, all right, everybody back in the car. So we all hop in the car. In the meantime, I left my lights on the whole time the cop pulled me over. Thus, the car battery was dead. How long did he have so, you pulled over? Uh, I don't know, about 15 minutes oh, or so. That car and a piece so, of shit. So he starts driving away, and I went, and I held up, I jumped out of the car, held up my battery, uh, my battery cables, and I yelled, hey! <laughs> and he actually turned around, and he helped me, let me jump my car off his car, so. So that's some. Would, I share that with. You're gonna tell. So that's, that's one of I don't the know. Stories. I mean, how many stories would you share? I don't know. There's. You never know what you the just situation. Just pretend we're all your grandkids. Want to share wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you always want to share your wisdom. With the that's kids. true. Wisdom is good. Wisdom and experience. You know, hmm. one thing my grandfather used to always do. Always wear a rubber. That's a classic. My, my, yeah, that's always wisdom. But my granddad always used to take me out to the arcades. Um, he used to have a pocket full of change. And say, let's go to the arcade, you know. And uh, you know, for literally the time that he, uh, he I shared, uh, I was able to share my life with him, you know, when I was a kid, because he passed away when I was like uh, twelve. Um, before that, I mean, we were, that was the thing him and I did. We went to the arcades. Maybe he's the one that got me involved in video games. Who knows? I don't know. See, that's sweet. Yeah, and now that's it's depressing hot. too. Don't don't trust a Russian. That's another one. Another word. Words of wisdom that I'm gonna lay down on my my kids. Have you had an incident? Grandkids. We just had one with a mortal. Oh, that's I all. He, was, he I came in here pretending to be someone he else. You can't trust him. He's like frick. He's a mutt. <laughs> oh man, he just called you a dog. What are you gonna do? He called your entire what? family dogs. There's so many things wrong with all these statements. <laughs> you mad, bro? All right, I'm gonna all add right another, next call. I'm gonna Thanks for coming guy. in, Alexis. Just, right. Well, guys, thank you so much for... Holy shit! Thank you so much for adding me, guys. Big fan. Junk. Uh-oh. Love you. Um, Someone get this guy a shout-out. Seriously. Yo, You're... guys, buy my shirts. Get him out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awkward. Here's a shout-out. Oh. You know, earlier... Earlier we were talking about like TV shows or like things where you make it into a drinking game and you know you drink every time like someone says a certain something. I think with this episode of Chronocast, it should be fist every time someone says fist, you take or a drink Vaseline. because <laughs> it's been mentioned about like twenty times already. I noticed so. Oh, that's a good one. We can make this episode. Yeah, we're gonna have to like think of a word that works for our show too. Is there is there something? I mean, because it's gonna have to be fist. a different word. But Whoa. fist fisting. I don't know. Sweet. Fisting? I know. You want the word to be fisting <laughs> for now on? Fisting. Oh, oh, I love kid fisting. Viewers on here. <laughs> we can always do it. We're going to consult Jessica in the grind if fisting is going to be our word. We'll I know. We'll, 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 have to, we'll have to come up with that. We'll find we'll out. We'll yeah, we'll we DBEs. Yeah, we can, we can yeah, pick another DBE. word. Well, we got to think of yeah. a word that we're able to work it into the conversation. No, last like week, a common word. Just be like, hey, are yeah, you a common DB? word. Maybe, huh? maybe not DB? tell people what it is. The chrono fist? Oh, God. No, uh, well, or is it <laughs> well, chrono no, cast? We Every time we say chrono cast. Well, no, I think we should think of a word and not tell the viewers. And then maybe on next episode, they can try and guess which word it is, possibly. Like, like a a secret word. It. Smart as a fuck. <laughs> yes. But then how are they going to drink if they don't know the word? <laughs> no, they can guess it eventually. So they're just going to keep taking More shots than, for no reason. Uh, <laughs> so they're going to take shots ways. with all random words throughout. Maybe it's that one. All right, take another shot. Yeah, exactly. Alcoholism. Even though I'm in the call, this is very interesting to listen to. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, Mitch. Okay. Welcome to the call. Welcome to Corona <laughs> Cast. How you doing? Read your me about like a minute uh, ago. I like your picture. It's nice and sexy. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's from like Oni NG. It's his uh, Goku face. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. <laughs> And where are you calling from there, Mitch? Um, Ohio. Ohio! Do you live by Seattle? Oh! Yeah, oh. actually, um, a rager, a couple, like, maybe it was, like, I think about, like, a couple weeks ago, 
um, you were streaming like at like four in the morning. You were talking to Spoon and stuff. You were talking about Cedar Point. How you like worked there and stuff. Yeah, buddy. I went there a couple. Uh, I went. I actually went there like last week. I'm gonna go there again. I was like, I was just thinking like, uh, cause I was wondering if Spoon worked there too, cause he said he goes there all the time too. Oh, uh, he went there with his girlfriend, I think, but he doesn't uh, work there. But I worked at the Wicked Twister. Yeah, you know, I know there. that. Yeah, that shit's awesome. <laughs> the yellow one that goes like up around. I used to test ride every morning. It was so awesome. Oh, you lucky. Yeah, I'd go in there hungover as hell, and I'd you know test ride and <laughs> wide awake. <laughs> oh my god, that shit hungover, dude. How the fuck did you survive? Well, that, that wakes your ass up in the morning, so... You know. That would wake you <laughs> That would, yeah. It, it right, was well, awesome. Well. It was good. So, do you got any questions for any of these Ballmasters uh, here? Yeah. One, I got one for you, Torek. Is he there? I am, yeah. Okay. Um, a while back, you were doing videos on Spyro. You plan mm -hmm. on doing that anymore? Because that shit's like my childhood, and I just love those videos when you were playing it. Yeah, I had, uh... I did, uh, what is it? That was actually... A test type not the 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 game but uh the way i was doing the videos like i was i was doing them in 10 minute segments which i don't really normally do i just normally like record for like two hours or so just cut it up into 10 minutes so i was like trying to make them like a more personal like this is the episode start and here's the finish um and uh i never got round to carrying on and i'd misplaced the save file so i'm really oh. trying like i'm not i, I was I was planning to uh, record some before I left for Canada, uh, but I never got around to it. So I haven't stopped that. It's just been on, it's postponed. Same as a couple of other Dropping things. Dropping the ball, you talk. Yeah. Dropping the ball. <laughs> do you use an emulator <sighs> for that? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, cause sometimes I have the game, that. but like, it's, I can't record PlayStation 1. Yeah. It's like when you use an emulator sometimes, you gotta back that stuff up, because that stuff down, like, gets rid of easily like it delete, deletes itself sometimes yeah i can never trust that shit i have to put it on my usb yeah i mean like i put it like uh i had a backup um but as i said like my i don't know what i think it was uh switching from two monitors or something like switching one off switching it back on it like moves all of your uh desktop icons and for some reason it's just banished i don't know where it's gone uh, yeah. i probably actually accidentally deleted it thinking it was something else uh, so i'll have to like if i have i'll just have to replay up until the point that i got to on the video yes. yeah that'd be cool yeah yeah man i'm just like i'm just glad i got in the call dude i've been calling i've been trying to get in ever since the first episode of chrono thank you for the dedication Aww. man yeah, yeah i appreciate awesome. it this appreciate shit's it. hilarious i saw what it's like a fan posted a video last night for the power hour thing i do of the like the amount of time they wait and literally i'm like God damn, they just keep the phone ringing for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you feel bad like they're sitting there. You want to, you want to add like yeah. everybody. I felt bad, but yeah. it's only one person. It's like, dude, I'm sorry. I know, right? That's how I felt. I would if I yeah. could. Well, I actually got one last question for you too, Chill. Yes, sir. Since you reactivated your World I've of Warcraft shake and record that. This. Yes. All right, man. It's fuck, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for that I don't shit. know how I feel about Mr. Pandaria. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not really like a. It's got bears. You, yeah, but Come every on. expansion has had bears. <laughs> They're just panda bears. But yeah, pandas are legitimate bears. Okay. <laughs> it kind it kind of has the same ring as diarrhea because you said like pandaria. Well, so. I don't think it's it's, it's called pandarin, but I just like calling it pandaria. Diarrhea? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of has, has the same uh, ring. Uh, so you're, like, you're, you're all really? done. You're all <laughs> done. <laughs> gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. That's an oh, Italian okay. last name. Yeah, diarrhea, gonorrhea. Same pandaria. thing. This just took a turn for exactly. the works. Jan is the <laughs> gonorrhea <laughs> expert. No, I said diarrhea. I said diarrhea first. <laughs> diarrhea. Junk said gonorrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Right, well, that's about it. I'll let you guys get more people in here before it ends. All right, Mitch. Hey, thanks for coming right on. Uh, thanks for uh, being listening on a normal well, Thanks basis. for checking my stream, too. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You guys are all awesome. And beers. <laughs> Yay! Go <laughs> 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 for the bears. They're bears. <laughs> All right, next. 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 Right, you gotta, gotta get but Mitch I, out. Though. I'm killing him. Sorry. Orlando Bloom. Get them. Get them uh, out of here. I was showing man. off potential. Not no, it's Orlando Bloom. I'm showing off savings. Orlando has not answered. Call failed. Orlando yeah, Bloom. Up. No. Orlando Bloom. We're good. We're good. There you go, Orlando. Hello there. Oh my. Ow! 
That was <laughs> so I'm I'm No, 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 kick him. I'm sorry. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Production <laughs> has a legitimate medical condition. Do? I have I have tinnitus. That shit hurts, dude. Oh god. I think he tried to fix it. All right, come, bring him back in. Give him one more if try. If he fix Okay, well, I'm turning Give I'm him muting. one more try. He tried to kill him, we man. Bring him back in. Is he still uh, there? You gotta, or you is gotta he gone? Him. God Rager? Alright, we're gonna try one more time. Here we go. Oh shit, call fire. Right. Here we go. God damn. Here. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright. Okay. If it doesn't work, we'll, one more time. And if it doesn't okay. Orlando. Hello. Hello. Right. Out of here. What, what's the matter with your mic? Uh, it's really Lower bad. The, the volume, please. Get a new Lower mic. the volume of your mic or stick your face about a, a, a little farther away from the mic. All right, now talk. Is, is talk. It yeah, yeah, there you yes, go. Yes, that's better. Yeah, there we go. There you All, go. Right. All right, Orlando. Welcome to Chronocast. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'd rather not say. You don't want to say <laughs> what country? <laughs> I find that really funny. Are you from America? Yes. Okay, that's close enough. All right. What the what the hell do you have a question for, or who, or all of us, or what? If you could play any new game that's coming out, what would you guys play? Uh, I want to play Sims. Sim City. Sim City is what I want to play. Wait, the old one or new one? The new one. New game. Or... New game. All right, next. I want Sim. I'm looking forward to uh, Sim City. Next, um, I would like to play currently right now. Um, b -b 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 I guess Guild Wars, two. Yo, yeah. that's that was pretty good. That was a good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I want. Uh... I want Bioshock Infinite so bad. Oh so yeah. Bad. Jan. Jan? I already said SimCity. Oh. I said it. I was the first one to say it. Oh. I, I must have said it at the same time. I'm sorry. Uh, Torek? I'm the same as Chilled. Really? Really? Wait, what did Chilled say? I missed that. Chilled was 2. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was... And Halo 4, possibly. Get out of oh, here Come on. That. No. It's my childhood. <laughs> Rager? How can Halo 4 be your childhood? Because Halo's my childhood. Master Chief is my childhood. Well, mine is sense. Assassin's Creed that's 3, because I'm excited for a Civil I want War that game. Like Civil War? Yes. Well, that's, that's, that's Revolutionary, Revolutionary War, whatever. God. My ancestors are rolling in their grave. No, your history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I fixed it. GW, the... man, he's taking a shit now in his grave. He's just not happy. If they knew about the Civil What's War, he... they'd be upset. I don't know what cool. this is. Come on. All right. What about <laughs> you, Orlando? Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure. I might go with Assassin's Creed Three as well. There you go. All right. Excellent. Well, thanks for being on Chronocast. Uh, wait. Thanks wait. for calling in. Thanks for fixing your mic somehow. Yeah. And go buy a new mic. And uh, you have a wonderful evening. Kick him out. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for having me on, and all that. Bad Bloom. Hello, Bears. Bloom. Uh, Bye. Bye. Just so you guys know, I'm not the real Orlando Bloom. God. Okay. <laughs> you had me fooled. I had no idea. <laughs> that was good timing. That was good timing. Yeah, yeah like his there. perfect American accent. Uh, Just want to let everyone right. know. We got. Uh, we could probably get a few more calls yep. in here. All right. These these people wanted to be in it together. So. Oh. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, Hello. God. Hello? I know these people. Sarah? I know Hello? these people. That's Sarah. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Hi. What's going on, Hello. Sarah? Sarah, while we're waiting for your friend to come in, where are you calling from? Canada. Canada? Uh, <laughs> Alexis, are you there? Yeah. Oh, Hi. and where are you calling from? Sarah, go first. I said she I'm from said... Canada. Oh, I'm from New York. Woo! Represent. New York! Great Canada, USA. How are your bagels today? They're good. They're always good. <laughs> You're not in the city. You don't have. Hey, hey, bagels. I'm close enough, man. I could spit and hit New York City if I really tried hard enough. And got a really tall <laughs> building. 
You know, my wife's still very upset that you won't come down and I meet us. I told you come the week prior the and we could do things. She ca we well, can't. Well, well, maybe you shouldn't have gotten non-refundable tickets. We oh, haven't bitch. bought the tickets oh, well, yet. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. Oh, I don't know that. I'm doing <laughs> the week prior. <sighs> You're so. All right, old. you guys need to calm your tits. We got callers in here. Anyway, uh, uh, what, what hey, well, good, ladies, welcome doing? to the uh, Chronocast. Hi. What brings you on tonight? Any questions for one of us or all of us? Oh, yeah. We have a question for all Yay. of you. Our question is, how do you deal with creepy fans? Are we talking fangirls or just fans in general? Just fans in general. I meet them head general. on on TeamSpeak and I fight them to the death. <laughs> it's true. It's a true story. I ejaculate on my hand and I show them pictures. That's his method. I have my methods. <laughs> Oh, that's not right, because oh then God. you got proof that you did that, and you can take it to the cops. Um, I, as far as if they're real creepy, I just block them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easy. I think, I think Junkyard's a creepy one. I, he's not really... No one, yeah, I, I don't really care. I, I, the creepy majority one of them, I ignore most the of them. The creepy ones? I, it's just easier to ignore them. You, you give, because majority of the time, they just want attention anyway. So if you give them attention... You're just feeding, you're fueling the fire. So I just ignore him. I embrace it, but I don't. I don't act. So. Well, you, we've we already know you don't act. I wonder right. who has the the most like uh, uh, fans that have a, a gay population. I think. Like, uh, I think uh, that's that'd be Rager. Rager. It would be Rager. Rager. Oh. <laughs> Because he Most keeps putting nudes up on Twitter. You're not nudes. You're my muscles. You're in the pictures. There's no fucking rules against posting your muscles on Twitter. <laughs> Put some clothes on. There's no rules against it. Oh my god. No wonder I'm, I'm so unsubbing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you know, and I see you put pictures up every once in a while, but I never click on it, and I'm so glad yeah, now. Don't, yeah, don't, don't click they're always in don't like, do the bathroom mirror, and he's like just out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, I gotta take a picture of this. But I don't so, no, you so know, that's, that's a good question. Why do, does my Twitter on my phone, the picture thing doesn't work anymore? There used to be a little picture icon, and it's not there anymore. What did I do? You fucked up big time, Jack. Did I turn up. it off or something? You, I probably have an, you might have like an outdated version. <laughs> you probably have to update it. I took away our privileges posting yeah. pictures. Is there an update? Let me see if there's you an update. Take advantage of it. I that mean, that's what it could be. But... Here, I'll see if there's any <laughs> with, with creepy people, I pretty much just kind of laugh at it or just try to ignore it. Sometimes it's just pretty funny, so. Yeah, I've been around a lot of creepy people since I'm one of the creepy fangirls. <laughs> <gasps> no! Oh my god! god damn. <laughs> the first step is to be in a creepy fangirl, so... Okay, I admit it. I'm a creepy the first fangirl. Step. <laughs> she is quite creepy. It's okay. Alright. Mostly towards the chilled. Okay, Alright, I accept. Do you guys got anything else for us? Especially that one time. I remember oh. that one time you were being real creepy. Oh, yeah. You were creeping me out. <laughs> it's really funny out? just saying things and then people's reactions to them. That's mainly the reason I do it. Like, just like, to whoa. see how people will react. So you do it on purpose? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just talking about raping what's people? What's the word for like, people <laughs> in particular? <laughs> oh yeah, I so said rape chill. Uh, yeah. Did, did, Several did times did while he was rape? sleeping. Uh, try, just trying to get a reaction uh, out of you. No, so. I give you no reaction. <laughs> Good day, Sarah. Remember you may creep on me later. <laughs> I love you, chill. I, f I, I like your, your, your face. Oh, she you <laughs> loves you, chill. I know. She loves you, I'm chill. I'm hilarious. I almost said fudge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alexis, well, we, you we have, have anything? Any thing? Thing? We only got five minutes left. Alexis, you have anything? I love chilled more than Sarah does. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let them take, get them out of the call so they get I argued together. Loved, we'll get another call in. I feel the hope. Goodbye, <laughs> ladies. I feel love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, next. Oh, good. Last. The last. Yeah, this is our last caller right here. All right, here we go. Johnny Thunder. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We already had that guy. Never mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that guy. Sorry, Johnny Thunder. Uh, change your picture next time, dick boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My chat hasn't worked this entire time. I'm sad. Oh, God. 
My chat's, it's been, my chat's been working the whole time. It's cool. They're just chalking away. Well, I, Most I of them have been saying, the I, I love you, Jan. They've all been That's saying been all for about two hours now. Yeah. I love you, Jan. Stuff well, I don't say. know. I don't know if you're telling the truth or not, but, uh, you know, if they are, then, no. Thank you. Yeah, love you guys, yeah. too. There, there's Jan with little hearts on it and all kinds of nice stuff. Aw. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, see, I've had nothing to do this entire time because I can't talk to the people in the chat, so I've been, like, texting and playing with wires and a bunch of random stuff. And they like your flower. It's all nice. Roman, you don't call me, we call you. Roman! Oh, Roman! Oh, Roman! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God, Roman! Oh, my God, oh my. Roman! Sorry, Roman. that was an Roman. accident. Yes! Roman, uh. this, my name is Junkyard, and your name's Roman. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Are you Roman? Italian, by the way? Why do you uh, keep no. calling me for bowling, you son of a bitch? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not Italian. Robert. I'm not. Robert Italian. bowling. Well, welcome to Corona Cast. Oh, it's an honor. Go bowling. Yeah. Excellent. And where are you calling from? California. California. Or at least you're not afraid right of the witness protection program. Right back where, where I Where California are you? Uh, like some town called Desperia. It sucks. North oh, South. I'm going right now. I'm yeah. going there I'm tomorrow. Stuck. I don't care. Nico, my cousin. Oh, okay. Do you want to go bowling? You no. Know. Okay. What is with the Come bowling? Come on. He didn't fucking shut up about the bowling. He kept calling me Roman over and over and over. It's Grand Theft Auto. It's Grand Theft Auto. I, I'm still trying to beat I that know. right now. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I did. Pat you on the back, man. You'll do it. You'll do it. I, I will. I, I'm Why getting. Why did you even put that in GTA? I don't get that. Yeah, like, that you, made me really you mad. You don't play I GTA like, if you go bowling. <laughs> like I'm in the middle of like a serious mission and I'm like about to die, then all of a sudden you get ring, a call ring. from Roman. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're ready to play some bowling, Roman. <laughs> all right. Well, cool. Well, well, welcome, welcome. Uh, representing California, besides the fiction, he he's California yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, do you have a question for Sorry. one of us or all of us? For the I have a question for all of you, and I don't think it's been asked like at all. So, what was the last movie you cried to, if you've cried to a movie at all? Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the Futurama movies, and I feel bad for not being able to remember what it's called. Oh. You what's know what? the one I, with movies. Owen Wilson and a dog? What's, what's that? Marley and Me? Yeah, that's the one that had me... Get, Tears. Wait, don't don't tell anyone though. I, don't, I won't. <laughs> you know I don't know if I don't know if I was actually in tears or I was just really sad or I don't remember because it was so long ago. But probably had to been somewhere in time. That was with Christopher Reeves and I know I've seen it. They filmed that in Michigan, Mackin Island, where I worked, and they have like a that was memorial sad that people were like partying on the memorial <laughs> where they filmed everything. <laughs> You were taking shots on top of it and everything in the statue. <laughs> wow. What about you, wow. Chill? The last movie I cried? Uh, yeah. Can you come back to me? I'm thinking. I don't have tears. I have no emotion. All right. Okay. Uh, eat, eat my diction. What's the question again? <laughs> what was the last movie you cried was to you, if you ever had? Do you, like, just fade Oh, away? the last movie I cried to? Addiction um, doesn't cry. He has no, 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 no. I do cry during movies sometimes. Um, Tyrannosaur. Probably, Tyrannosaur I brought I, me I, down, I, dude. I, I guess that. That was the guess. Oh, really? I've never heard of that yes. movie. What's that Have about? you seen that movie? It's fucking depressing, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. That one, and then uh, The Elephant Man Never Fails to Make Me Cry. That movie is oh so sad. Oh, my God. Oh, that's sad, too. Those movies have, like, a permanent imprint in my brain, and it sucks. It's good. Oh. They're good movies, yeah, though. Yeah, they're, they're good awesome. movies, though. I can't think of anything. You, if I find uh, you totally one my movie, I'm going to kill you. You Torek? What about Titanic? you? Titanic. It's Titanic. Rager cried during Titanic. Titanic. Oh. I saw that I in the theater. Yeah, it was awkward at the boob scene with my parents next to me. What? A... <laughs> you tore it. What about like you? Like your French girls. I think, I think you tore it. Yeah, eating. he went to go get food. Oh, BBQ yeah. style. Oh. It's like the end of the show. Do, 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 do. Well, we can't. Uh, he had a, he's with his family. That's understandable. So. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Good last question. Good last caller. Yay. Roman. Thank Yay. you very much. You're welcome. And, uh, thank you. Oh, uh, well, thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of, of Chronocast and the Chronocast family. And uh, any last yeah. words? Otherwise, we're kicking you out. <laughs> bears. Bears, bears, right. bears. Get them out of here. Probably didn't say bowling. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so sentimental. Any last words All right. before we well, kill you? All right. Well, excellent. Well, ex hey, you know, I, I want to thank you for letting me be the MC tonight. That was actually sort of fun. I didn't know I was going to be the MC till uh, tonight. What we are doing, so you guys are aware, we are actually all going to MC a show. Uh, so, so oh, we're, we're actually all, doing that now. So we all share, you know, because so there's not one particular so because we're all a family so who knows it may be uh razor may mc jan may mc next week Eat my addiction chilled chaos you talk you never know who so uh i would like to say thank you for giving me this opportunity guys I, it was a lot yeah. of fun well thank you for running thank you for uh yeah, yeah. i thought you were yeah. a great host so thank you i appreciate it. i don't think i can beat you no one's gonna be able to uh, beat but you. they'll surely beat but, off you you know duck yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> Wait, do you guys oh, talk about Lizzie? Look for the Vaseline when you're camping, Rager. Just look for the camp, <laughs> the Vaseline when you're camping. So, uh, yeah, with that, Rager, you have an excellent time camping. Have some fun. Uh, make sure you I take will. the bug spray. You hear about, like, a forest fire in Michigan, and you know who started it. <laughs> who said it is? <laughs> yeah. Maybe fire. shooting off fireworks everywhere, so. Oh, uh, and uh, so anybody, uh, everybody have something final to say for the night? Chill? I'll never play with matches, ever. Uh, addiction? Um, double bears. Uh, Eutorix eating, so I'll go yum, 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 yum. Um, Jan? Uh, dip your maids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rager? Uh, don't have Roman candle fights, they hurt like a bitch. <laughs> and by, and with that, uh, we are all Chronocast. Thank you guys very much. This is Junkyard. Needless to say. Keep gaming. Peace out. Oh, I got this. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>